coming to you live from the city of mystery and romance, St. Paul, Minnesota, your pale Johnny Six Gun back in Yarnum, visiting the world of Bloodborne for round seven. We're getting there, folks. We're slowly moving step by step towards the baffling conclusion of this Eldritch horror. And it's a uh, horror for everybody. For me, the player, you, the viewer, and yeah, anyone who's not involved, I guess. Just, just a living nightmare. So we don't really have a goal in mind for tonight. So we're at the point in the game where there are a lot of optional areas, not even including the downloaded content. Which I may or may not explore. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go along. For now, I think we're just going to take the tried and true, correct path, and we'll we'll see what we open up. We'll we'll see what shakes out. All right, we are back at the Hunter's Dream, hanging out with the doll. Hey there, Dolly. Hey Amanda, good evening. Happy Thursday. Hope the rest of the week has been equally happy. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna try to make some progress. Or some snot grass, if you prefer. Alright, where the heck was I going to go? If I were me, I would go... I believe this is where we want to go. Oh no, well, that's the thing, once you're at the bottom of the barrel, the uh, bar can only be raised or lowered. And I suppose if you lower the bar, the days can get better. But yeah, as long as we're still breathing, things can always get better, so hang in there. Hopefully. Things will be more pleasant than they are in the world of Yarnum here, with all sorts of untold horrors. That's the thing I kind of like about spooky video games. Oh, there's a fella. Yeah, that's the thing. Things can always be worse. That's why I kind of like uh, spooky video games and movies, things of that ilk. It's like, hey, you see a bunch of horrible monsters. Terrible things can and will happen, but in real life you don't have to worry about being buried alive. You don't have to worry about being eviscerated by a machete-wielding maniac. In real life we're worried about insurance adjusters and co-pays. So it's kind of fun to lose yourself in horrible nonsense like this. Hopefully you're walking down the street. You're not going to get stabbed by some crazed fellow with wild red hair. Unless you're walking the streets of St. Paul, Minnesota. Watch out for old Johnny. He might might just shiv ya. Might stick ya. Alright, that device is not operational. That's, that's another real-life worry we have. Maybe our car isn't working, or, or the cell phone's just not getting any... Any coverage, that's that, that's a bummer. That's a real-life horror. That's something that we should be afraid of. I'm fairly certain this is the correct path. There's never... Oh, yeah, we've got horrible monster there. Just hanging out. Monsters are doing their thing. Monsters are people, too. You gotta wonder, if you leave monsters alone, can you really call them monsters if they're sort of doing their own thing? We got the, the hunt punch back. Nothing worse than roaming gangs of folks just out to get you. Yeah, we got a amygdala up there. Kind of the poor man's Cthulhu. I'm gonna toss in the old hot pot, that's never good. I seem to recall this area, the 
kind of made you a monster playing with lasers. Oh, oh no, never mind. He just grabbed me and uh, giving me a bit of a squeeze. That's that's bad news. Yeah, don't get the squeeze. The old squeeze play. One of the classic games from The Price is Right. I've heard tell that host of The Price is Right and well, a comedian, I guess. Drew Carey has grown a beard now. That's, that's big news these days, apparently. When a mediocre host of a once beloved game show grows facial hair, that's, that's when you stop the presses. Personally, I've been watching a little bit of the Buzz TV. I love the game shows. I like the old ones. Watch some match games, some super sales, Charles Nelson Riley. I don't know how they got them, but they managed to whoop old Richard Dawson into the bunch as well. Of course, a little bit of Card Sharks. I love the theme song for Card Sharks. Come on, monsters, come on up here. Sit a spell. You all come back now, you hear? A little supermarket sweep. I was absolutely dumbfounded to find the episodes of Supermarket Sweep I was watching were. From the early 90s. Would have sworn it was 80s, the way everyone was dressed and the way those products are presented, but nope, 90s. I'm just old. It's okay. It's okay to be old. I guess. I don't know. It's okay to be young, too. It's, it's okay to be. Yeah, I love that supermarket sweep. The episode I just watched the other night, they were able to find the hundred grand bar and win the five thousand dollars or whatever the hell it is they win. The, the big bucks. And hopefully they got to keep the candy bar. That's a good candy bar. One of the bars that I was very happy when I was doing gourmet s'mores or s'more maze if you will. You know, old school rhyme and reason says you gotta melt that Hershey bar. Not in my world. You gotta Maybe try a peanut butter cup. That hundred grand. The last clue is always terrible. In supermarket sweep, they should really be ashamed of themselves. I I don't think they are, but and they do what they do. Yeah, nothing going on in here. Yeah, you can make s'mores with any candy bar. And you, you know, if you're incredibly bold, you could replace the marshmallow with perhaps the marshmallow peep. One of my least favorite candies, despite the fact it's so gosh darn cute. Gotta love that marshmallow peep. To look at, not to eat. Gross. Ew. I don't want that treasure. And we got some bolt paper. That's good stuff. It's like wiping your ass with a taser. There's something hanging out down there. It looks bad. And we got some got some folks hanging out down there. Maybe they're gonna try to melt a butterfinger on their s'mores. Don't know that I'd uh Attempt the Butterfinger S'mores. Maybe the Butterfinger Peanut Butter Cup on the S'mores. That would be... That would be okay. Maybe just a bunch of... A bunch of witches. Just a nice little coven there. The Little Coven. Card Sharks kinda sucks. Not a great game. Love that theme song. We got some rickety stairs. Oh yes. Oh no. 
bell ringers keep summoning enemies, and that's... Oh dear. Got a... Pretty ornery looking troll there. Well, that's Boogie. Yeah, nothing too good going on in that card shark. It's very basic. Yeah, match games... Boy, you know, the game itself isn't very good, but... You get a good panel, they, they can come up with some pretty fun stuff. A lot of the times their jeeps aren't so good, though. Oh my god, he is going berserk. There's a lot of trouble going on here. So let's run, let's... Oh yeah, there it is, there's the image of the... Shreds our asses with lasers, that's... Good news for the laser industry. We don't hear too much about lasers in the 80s. Big news. Coming up with the compact discs, laser discs. Maybe a little game of laser tag, photon perhaps, if you didn't have that laser tag money. Turn on a sci-fi movie or show without seeing a ray gun. And thank the goodness we don't have laser guns in today's society. Brings to mind an SNL sketch from early 90s for fictitious product, the Amazing Laser. The Amazing Laser, which is used to primarily get rid of yard waste, got a pile of leaves. Use the Amazing Laser to just vaporize and vaporize that pile of yard waste. And then the disclaimer noted that do not fire the Amazing Laser at friends and family. Do not point the amazing laser at police officers or the military. The amazing laser, just, you know, don't, don't buy it. Go with the, maybe the garden weasel, perhaps. Everyone likes a garden weasel. Maybe not weasels in the garden. Not, not as fun. Maybe you got voles. Moles. Who knows what's in your garden? Could just be zucchini squash. Don't squash that zucchini. Let's go on this door. Now that door doesn't open from that side. That's that's a bummer. Might be a nice shortcut. Ooh, this looks treacherous. All those bell ringers reminds me of those. Got awful bell ringers we get around the holiday season. Yeah, it's for a good cause. Hey, not bad, but old Johnny's got to think uh think about himself first. Don't necessarily have the cash to worry about other folks. That's not an enemy. That's just a statue. I always come up with my own little maps of stores that do not have bell ringers. That's where I do my shopping in the holiday season. There's that bell ringer. We'll ring her bell. What is that, Olivia Newton-John? Ring my bell, maybe? Does that ring a bell? Some more trash. Kind of want more trash. And yeah, apologies to anybody if you tried to tune in last night for some bloodborne action. I can't really ring a ding ding. Can't really make any excuses. Who's ever paid for an excuse? So I won't. I just didn't really feel like playing any vids. So, hopefully you can entertain yourself. I I do my best to 
do that every day. With the wealth of entertaining content on the online, hey, how can you go wrong? You can go pretty wrong with a lot of this tripe out there these days, but hey, somebody enjoys it. Probably keep a closer eye on the health here. Don't wanna, don't wanna die. All right, let's let's keep on slinking down. Oh my god! You know, just let monsters be. dark in here. I really want that treasure chest. Oh, guys. Good one, guys. Come on out. Got a little present for ya. It's the Miracle Blade 2. Which is, of course, superior to the standard Miracle Blade. Because it's two. Oh, oh, good one, guys. Got something there. I think it's a little weapon, little, little something for my punk ass. And I see a little more treasure working in there. Oh, forgot about my handy dandy hand lantern. This, of course, is before the times of the. The head-mounted lantern thingy that... I don't know people wear, right? I don't know if people wear those still. Used to be just miners. Then it became jackasses. I think it's, we're back just to miners now. Alright, we got the good time gang following me here. That's... It's always fun. The old fun and run. Yeah, let's let him be. Let's see if I can... Oh, it's more wood. Yeah, and we're toast. Youch. That's kind of the way the Bloodborne cookie crumbles. Once you figure out where to go, no problemo. You don't know where you're going, where you're at. Not so good, Ale. Why do we fall down to pick ourselves up? According to Michael Caine, Jeff Carter himself. Be deceived, that bell ringing that's not indicating that it's time for recess. It doesn't mean there's ice cream outdoors. It means there's trouble brewing for old Johnny. We're talking pitchforks, torches, pulse plasma rifles, nukes, sharp sticks. Just a, a lot of ultimate badasses really sticking it to me. We're not digging this area at all. And that's okay. Because we're starting a little early today. 
It means the sun's out. It's a little warm in the Midwest tonight in the city of mystery and romance. A little toasty for old Johnny. That's okay. I think we're, uh, the summer is winding down. Can't imagine more than four weeks of this living hell. And it'll just be back to uh, living purgatory. I always thought that'd be a fun name for a hamburger shack. The old Burgatory. Let's go this away. I like the looks of this away. Purgatory. Maybe need to get some gasoline at the old Tom Fulery afterwards. I always thought that'd be good. The Tom Fulery. Alright, so that way's a bust until we open that shortcut. Let's let's find that shortcut, gang. Let's avoid monsters. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one, Amanda. That's, that's pretty old school, I think. Uh, I don't know, he or I came up with that one and back in the 90s, so. Oh, dear. Well, let's just run past all these scums. Long scums. Really popping me here. Here, the root of the problem. We'll let the the wild bunch matriculate on this away. Well, that'd be a good one too. Maybe you've got a upscale eatery, and you can be serving the wild brunch. Maybe it'll be Tex Max. Text Mex, as we all know, is short for text messaging. Just gonna send it out a quick text Mex to my homies. Mi hombres, mi hermanos, y hermanas. And that was one I thought I was borderline clever with back in the day before sexting was a thing. You know, sending out the old genital pictures to your friends and family. Yeah, sex messaging. That's one that I came up with. And, you know, somebody came up with sexting. I guess that's better. Probably best just to... Leave that filth. Leave, leave it in your pants. Leave, leave the phone in your pants as well as your genitals. Alright, now we're wandering around. and we making progress? I couldn't tell ya. Not quite sure where we are. Oh, we got another bell ringer. Find us some bloodstone chunks. Those are good. Let's power up the old school. Got the laser amygdala here. That's, that's dangerous. That's incredibly dangerous. Oh my god, these are witches. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh my god. Let's keep running. Keep running. And we got hit by the laser. Dig nabbit. Well, that's why we like to power up our agility. It keeps you running. Yeah, it keeps you running.
Although I am very satisfied to see the aftermath after the death. Seeing that laser shred up some of the baddies. Roy Batty. Played by Rutger Howard. Good old Blade Runner. Not really one of my favorites, but it is visually arresting. Very nice score. Just, I don't know, Harrison Ford's performance is a little wooden. There's not really any mystery to solve for, you know, a tech noir, futuristic detective picture. There's no mystery to solve. Alright. Got some replicants up there. Let's uh let's go find them and let's retire them. There's no mystery to solve. Doesn't mean that Rutger Howard's Roy Batty isn't amazing. He's just like, outstanding. The speech at the end is one of the finest pieces of cinema to date. For the record, I really enjoyed the more recent Blade Runner, Blade Runner 2046, or whatever the hell it's called. Whenever they come up with an arbitrary year, how am I supposed to remember this? We'll call it Blade Runner 2. Really loved Blade Runner 2. Enjoyed it more than the first. Still absolutely great looking, great sounding movie. You got the Ryan Gosling in there, gals, and some fellas. That's, uh, hello. I've only seen the Ryan Gosling in the Blade Runner 2. And another one of my favorites, Drive. Which is probably about 10 years old at this point. Yeesh. But love that Drive. Like it more than going for a drive. Right, we got the bell ringer again. For whom the bell trolls? Right, where you at, Gail? I'm gonna promote a little... Yeah, I don't know. Actually, I did hear Amanda. He would... Boy, I gotta look it up. Released an album with some sort of choir. Only heard one track from the album, but it's outstanding. Maybe that's how he got the uh, La La Land thing. Yeah, I don't know. I think he's in that Notebook. I think a lot of people enjoyed the Notebook thing. I think it's a rom-com or this romantic drama thing. I don't. That's not my kind of movie, so I shouldn't really uh, speak to it. The Notebook. Yeah, he's in the La La Land. I'm not too keen on musicals. Unless it's... Well, no, Ryan Gosling was in Hail Caesar and he had a hilarious turn. And a little musical scene. Involving a bunch of sailors. Absolutely hilarious. So if the Coen brothers are making a movie with some musical scenes, maybe like Buster Scruggs, I'm in on that. Whatever the Coen brothers do, I'm on board with. Minnesota boys making good. The Coen brothers. Of course, The Big Lebowski. Potentially the funniest movie ever made. Fargo, top shelf. The Hudsucker Proxy, you know, for kids. Still not gonna open there. Yeah, and, and a lot more. Yeah, the movie thing that's. Sometimes I'm in, sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I'll watch six movies in a weekend. Sometimes I won't watch a movie for three months. It all comes and goes in bangs. Ooh, bang, it's a win.
Oh, wait, no, not. Did I say naked lunch earlier? I meant Barton Fink. It's two. two flicks referenced in The Simpsons. Oh. That one's my fault. Had John Goodman really good in that Barton Fink. Alright, I died here earlier. That's. Not encouraging that means buyer beware. All right, these witches are gonna need stitches. the laser this time. This is a laser tag where if you get zapped, you get a little dot on your vest or your score drops. You can do some sort of force feedback thing. Maybe the vest or sensor you're wearing may give you a little zap when you get hit. And again, if you're going for that place, some paintball only did the paintball once in my life for a bachelor party get-together thing. Great fun. Good way for dudes to get some of that pent-up rage. Just shooting paintballs at each other. I gotta tell ya, my calves were kicking the next day. Not used to all that crouching and running. Alright, we're actually gonna do some running here. Oh god. Oh, we're going to get popped. Popped. Oh, we got to find that bell ringer. Keep summoning these witches. Now we're going to boogie. All right, we made it. Skedaddle. Skedaddle to a Seattle. Oh my god, we got a we got to a save point. Thank the maker. The coffee maker. Thank you, Mr. Coffee or Miss Coffee, if you've put up maybe a nice pink bowl on your coffee machine. Oh, well, Luke, I don't know. Giorgio is pretty hard to resist. Found. Yeah, of course, we're talking about our playthrough of Roundabout last Friday, the action puzzler on PS4, PC, PlayStation Vita, and the silent protagonist, Giorgio Manos. Quite the dish. Kind of a, uh, you know, not sort of thing you should see in this day and age, but, uh, you know, kind of got, kind of had a little thing for Giorgio Manos. Apparently portrayed by a real-life game designer. I think she worked for Wizards of the Coast, doing the D&D &D and stuff like that. Apparently I can follow her on the, oh my god, I think we got a hunter, that's not good. I could follow her actress on the uh, onlines, but quite frankly, I can't be bothered. What do I care what strangers are up to? Kind of pathetic. Just like, no, oh, I don't know. I'm going to follow someone on the Instagram because they're attractive looking. Like, okay, there's somebody, uh, oh, oh, guys. Got a trio of trouble here. Three stooges. Not saying I'm not a shallow person. I think we all are in some regards. Oh, what the hell is that? Whoa, we got the hunters still. Ooh. Always trouble lurking, Garmin. 
All right, took down one of the hunters. That's good news. Give me some trash. All right, we got this abomination. Oh, oh no, it's another hunter pad. Oh, and he's coming with the monster, coming in hot. Let's get healing and let's get the hell out of here. Oh, we're stuck on a rock. I mean, a rock and a multifaceted nightmare. Let's run back into the house. I don't think that monster will make it back here, at least. Yeah, you stay out there, monster. You do as you're told. Now I feel kind of sad. Nobody's paying attention to me again. There we go. Let's stick the monster. This, uh... Seem to have a hunter trapped in the level's geometry. That that happens in these modern 3D video games. Sometimes things just go weird. Ow. Oop, he stuck me. That's a good one. Stick with me, kid. No, it won't stick me. Deep. Alright, looks like, uh... The one hunter died off screen. That's... that's okay. Might not be able to pick up the treasure that he drops, but... A win is a win. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't kill me, please. And we got 20 lousy bullets. Too bad we're not rocking the Chris Rock economy. Where bullets would cost, what the hell? Oh, I'm getting capped. Which is the slang term for being shot up like a mofo. I seem to be running into mofos than I can deal with. So we'll loop back around. Oh, we got a nice statue of an amygdala there. That's... Fine craftsmanship at work. Oh, oh, oh. I was kind of hoping to find that save point again, but I've gotten lost. Oh, I think I know where I am. Mildly. You. Oh. Unlike Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, the surprises around every corner will hurt you here. Piss off, monster. All right. Would really like to get back to home base here. Might have an item for that.
Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. We'll figure it out. Or we won't. Just a game. Who cares? Either way. I kind of care a little bit. I'm kind of curious. Let's go back down that staircase where that horrible monster emerged from. I'm sure there's something good down there. Or it could be more monsters. No monsters are good. Swing and a miss. I've heard tell that they got the they got the baseball back. They got the sports. Who's tuning into that sports gang? I, I can't say that I am, but I'm glad it's back. If it's making people a little more happy, bringing some normalcy back, hey, I'm all I'm all for that. And we are just soaked in blood at this point. Disgusting. Yeah, let's go this way. Hey, what's that say? Oh, yeah. Very nice moon out tonight. Not in the Twin Cities, of course. At the time of this recording, it's still a bit bright out there. Unlike your old pale Johnny, not that bright. Let's see if we can go in this door, perhaps. No, we cannot. Keep a knocking, but you can't come in. No, 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 no. Oh, a bell ringer. Oh, it's, that's the hot stuff. This thing's are pretty cool. A treasure chest just bursting with parts. For all your 2,000 parts. Let's run past the parts. The Lever 2000 monster. Ow! Dang old Lever 2000 spit blood at me. There we go. Looks like we found a boss encounter and I have very few potions on me. This could be a disaster. Almost guaranteed to be a disaster. Ring a ding ding. There we go, we got a spooky lunar eclipse. We're a leaking eclipse. Ugh. Gust. Still not as bad as hitting a pothole. I'd rather run into this amalgam of corpses than hit a pothole. Those are no good. I think some people might think old Johnny's had a few when they see him swerving around on the road, but no, I've memorized where all the potholes are in my route, so I dodge them expertly. Will I dodge this monster's attacks? I'll find out. I'm getting a stomp. Kick, stomp, kick, stomp, stomp. Ooh, the hot stuff. Doing okay so far. Maybe about a quarter of the health gone. And I got the squish. The filet o squish. Yeah, 
Yeah, about 50% on the monster. About a third of my own health left. Fire raining down, kicking and screaming. Cats and dogs living together. Group. Let's get a little help. Let's get that agility up. Let's attack those entrails. The entrails of tears. No mines. No mines. Holy moly. First try for the one reborn. We got the yellow backbone. That sounds about right. And we even get to go back to our safe haven. Thank the goodness. Here we get some of this blood out of the old outfit. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? Very well, let me... All right, so we got enough for A level. At this point in the game, can't go wrong getting a little more health. Farewell, good hunter. For when we're May you looking for horrible monsters. What is it? For your health. Very How many more well, of these let... blood echoes do I need? Very few. Very well, few. Good hunter. I wonder. I wah 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 wonder. Oh, why? Why 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 why? I keep playing this game. Yeah, it's kind of fun. It's kind of neat. Welcome home, good hunt. What is it you desire? Neat playing games, hanging out with folks. Very well, let me. Let's get nutty. Let's go with a little more endurance. And we'll, we can never forget. We've got to repair our weapons. Just like we should. I don't know. Repair our cars or something. I. What's something somebody should maintain? Maybe get those shoes shined. Get some mink oil. Get that leather coat real shiny. People still wearing the leather coats these days. Is that in vogue? Do people still wear clothes? Or are we all just kind of lounging around in our bathrobes? And our wacky pants. Not entirely certain what wacky pants are, but... I like to think that... You can wear them at home without any shame. You can wear your wacky pants at home. And perhaps abroad. So we're looking okay. Let's keep on keeping on. Let's find some more monsters. Could even afford a vial of blood. Oh, happy days. Monday, Tuesday, happy days. Thursday, today is a happy day. And tomorrow could even be better. We'll find out by hook or by crook. And then we got the weekend. It means different things to different folks. For me, it means I don't have to work, and that's that's a win. Ah, oh, for Pete's sake, I've teleported to the wrong spot. 
Spot being the name of Lieutenant Commander Data's cat. Star Trek The Next Generation. We're not going to get back into that. Not right now. Though I have really been fiending to watch them. Star Trek The Next Generation. I've heard the new Star Trek animated program on the CBS All Access. Star Trek Below Decks or something like that. It's supposed to be god-awful. You take the witless comedy of Family Guy paired with the near-utopian society of Star Trek and... I don't know, it's like filling the Reese's peanut butter cup with mayonnaise instead of peanut butter. That's, that's a mix you're not really looking for. Or maybe someone would like that. I don't know. Oh dear, I think I recall this bit. Mummy! How I love you, Mummy! Little Al Jolson for you, gang. We're, we're staying hip with the references. 30s style. I, I could see that. Little mayo peanut butter on the burger. I've had a peanut butter and jelly hamburger myself at some point. This is fine. Wasn't great. Didn't upset me. Nor my stomach. Are we on the second level of... Yeah, yes we are. Which is why we have a fire weapon. These sluggish students are not too keen on the hot stuff. That's right. The Jam Man. My old father. The old timer. Used to go into the... Local Nelson's Cheese Factory, get himself a nice breakfast burrito. And he'd always ask for the good folks behind the counter to just slather it up with some strawberry jam. Hence the moniker, The Jam Man. Don't know that I necessarily inherited those tastes like breakfast burritos, like jam on an English muffin or a dry white toast. On the breakfast burrito, that's maybe taking things a bit far. Another bloodstone chunk. Oh yeah, we're still trying to work out the gourmet s'mores tonight. We're maybe going to throw that peanut butter cup on there. Throw that Marshmallow peep on there, melt it up. Oh! Slimy students. Wandering the halls without their masks. So yeah, we're gonna throw that marshmallow peep on the s'more. We're going to maybe use the Butterfinger peanut butter cup as our chocolate. Maybe just stick it between a couple of chocolate chip cookies. That could be okay. That sounds s'more made to me. Oh yeah, that's down there is a little area where I like to level up, like to hunt down those students. Back in my old college days, there used to be a little game. I don't know that folks could get away with it now, but it's called Assassins. Anyone participating would carry their Nerf guns. They were just out to take out the other participants. Sounds like an amusing enough pastime. However, I couldn't be bothered. What with the severe alcoholism and all that. A nice sedative there. Well, that's what you need the sedative for. Keep calm when you've been slimed. So funky. And he's trying to bust through the walls, just like the Kool-Aid man. I 
I haven't had a nice pitcher of Kool-Aid in quite a while. Infrequently, maybe, the... Crystal Light. Now, look, that's disappointing. I'd uh, expect maybe a more crafty trap or something out of you. And 11's not... It's not 12, at least, but... I don't know, maybe something involving... Well, yes, for Pete's sake, with all of your Scooby-Doo knowledge, you should know more about traps than anybody. Maybe you could have even dressed up as a monster and... I, I don't know where I'm going with that. It's... Spooking college kids dressed as a monster. I don't know if that's a winning strategy. There we go. The old goose in the garbage. I like that, the goose in the garbage bit. What's going on in here? So we're playing a little assassins of our own in the spooky university. Spooky you. Oh, this. Let's go outside. Why not? Oh, that's why you don't go outside. It's a living nightmare. That's why you do the online schooling these days. There's a video game out these days. Oh, the Nightmare of Mensis. Ew. Ew. I don't know that we want to do this, but... We must do what we must do. Oh, there's a video game out these days. The Untitled Goose Game, where you just play as a goose. You're more or less just... Running amok. Making trouble for the folks of town. Maybe when someone's not looking, you'll take the sandwich off of the bench. Or something like that, I don't know. Regular old goose mischief. Yeah, that's... that's it exactly. Can't... just can't have a good time these days. Not within reason, of course. Alright, that thing, uh... Had some gross eels explode out of it. Eels up inside you. Find an entrance where they can. And we go forth. Oh, get a critter. What do you got for me, Skitter Critter? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that was a generous Skitter Critter. I think I've got enough to power up my sword now. Oh, I think I remember this area too. Essentially, we got the Eye of Sauron up there. I get caught by the spotlight, I go insane. That's... that's not good. Not in real life, thankfully. Well... why not? Let's see, let's power up that sword. Goose in the hood, up to no good. Of course, a wonderful reference to Leprechaun 5. Leprechaun in the hood, or Lep in the hood, if you're his friend, maybe. Which is as good, maybe not as good as Leprechaun back to the hood, which would be Leprechaun 6. And they did a Leprechaun Reboot, featuring Hornswoggle of the WWE. That was awful, absolutely terrible, not in the fun Warwick Davis Leprechaun way. I believe there's been a, another Leprechaun movie 
since, not featuring Warwick Davis, but they went back to the zany leprechaun doing the limericks with the shillelagh. The, the, the good leprechaun. Oh, we got the Nightmare Frontier and the Nightmare of Mensis. I think Mensis is the correct one. Yeah, the Leprechaun movie's pretty fun. First one featuring Jennifer Aniston, everybody's best friend. Except for Brad Pitt. Lep 2? Let's see here, which one was Lep 2? I think it was just Lep 2. Lep 3, Lep in Vegas. That's my personal favorite. Not very good, but... Best of the lot, done. You've got... Oh, There goes that insanity meter. Leprechaun 4, Leppin' Space. Inarguably one of the worst movies I've ever seen. I've seen it about three times. It's one of those so bad it's good type things. About well, the biggest name in that one, you've got the actress that played Jackie DiNardo. Zap secret. Self-popping popcorn. Maybe that's the next step. Or we've evolved beyond microwave popcorn at this point. We need the self-popping popcorn. Defeating the enemies. This guy doesn't look so friendly. Hey, the mofo just chucked a rock at me. Yeah, those leprechaun movies. Stupid horror fun. something. Do it borderline correctly. Oh, that's a chump. You got the intestine snakes. Kind of, oh, oh dear god. Maybe kind of like the movie Annihilation starring Natalie Portman, Jennifer Jason Lee, the... Gale that plays Valkyrie and Thor Ragnarok. Whatever the name is, I can probably know that, but I don't. I don't know a lot of things. But I know Annihilation is a fantastic movie. Sci-fi, body, horror, thriller. Oh, no one can ever forget the bear. BJ and the bear. Yeah, I don't want to tell, don't want to spoil too much about Annihilation, but that's a good one, gang. If you like your sci-fi with a horror twist, Annihilation, check it out. Even though Natalie Portman's in it, even she. Can, oh yeah, and uh, Oscar Isaac is in there. Forgot about him almost because it's a fantastic, almost all female cast. And we're on the topic of inclusivity and all that. Already got some great movies out there. Loaded with positive female performances. No need to make a Captain Marvel or a 
I don't know, I've heard that Wonder Woman's pretty good. I've still got to see that. Yeah, if you're going to do a girl power movie, don't don't pander. Make something good. Make Kill Bill. Make Alien. Make Aliens. Make Run Lola Run. There are tons of movies with... I mean, even that that's shit that I like. Action movies, sci-fi stuff, stuff the nerds like. There's all sorts of, like, real movies with great actresses and powerful performances. No need to pander, Hollywood. Just make a good movie. That's all you gotta do. Oh, that guy is on the move. Hey, even got my blood echoes back. Yeah, we'll just leave Rocky alone there. Rocky and Throwwinkle. Nope. See you, gents. See if we can get in in time before. Rocks hurled at us, here come the rocks. Let's get that old hand lantern going. The old hand banana. Let's see what we run into here. Oh, it's just a... Bunch of big old spiders. That's that's always fun. The classics. You can't go wrong with the classics. The giant spiders. Ugh. I don't mind a spider in real life. Some people are not too keen on the guys, but yeah, it's just a spider just hanging out. I mean, if I saw that thing walking down the street, I'd kill myself, but... There's some good spider movies out there, maybe like, uh, Eight-Legged Freaks. I love that Eight-Legged Freaks, that's a fun one. I think that was, uh, David Arquette. Maybe a little cameo from Mr. Show veteran John Ennis. Yeah, I don't know how they got him for that. And I don't know, some other folks. But yeah, Eight-Legged Freaks, fine movie. And what else? Arachnophobia with John Goodman. Meh. That's, that one gets a meh. I seem to remember there was a Bill Shatner eight legged freaks. Bill Shatner's spider movie that was pretty good. Oh, I think I remember this. Oh, just, a, just another hunter, no problem. I think the old. The old stick and jive seems to be working. Good enough. Yeah, what are some other good spider movies? Not all Spider-Man 2? Spider-Man Homecoming? Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse? I mean, we're reaching here. Not very spidery. But Peter Parker and Miles Morales do whatever a spider can. I especially enjoy that. Into the Spider-Verse. It's a toss-up. I love Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 2, as well as the original Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. Third one, blech. Spider-Man Homecoming. I love the hell out of that one. And it's got Michael Keaton, for Pete's sake. 
Yeah, then there was that Spider-Man Far From Home. Blech. Pretty bad. Goes into the moderates to lower tier for Marvel Pictures. Ah. Let's go on this light up thing. That's got to be good. Got ourselves another shortcut. Shortcut to somewhere. We got more of a rock tails here. Let's rock and roll on. Yells up. Sometimes you get a Yeti, and sometimes a Yeti gets you. To Catch a Yeti, starring Meatloaf. Not a so bad it's good movie, just a bad movie. I think it was To Catch a Yeti. Not to be confused with To Catch a Predator with Chris Hansen. I like to call him Chris Hansen. These rock guys. There we go. One fell down. That's what I was hoping for. Got my blood echoes back. We're back in the game. We can sneak by this fella. This big fella. Come on, fella. Fella Biafra. Let's... Skedaddle. We got our sanity dropping. Never fun. Never want to wind up insane. The straight jacket doesn't look like a real treat. You don't want to get wrapped up in the, the cold blanket. Some hot stuff. And we're dead. There we go. I think we're going to employ the secret art of running quickly for this section. Quite frankly, I haven't really done too much grinding, but what level am I at here? Stats, check that stats. Level 90. Out of a hondo. There's not too much more grinding I can do, so... Killing enemies... Certainly makes the trek a bit easier. But isn't gonna benefit me much in the long run. So let's just take the... Long run. Take the long way home. The long monsters. Well, we're just gonna keep on going. Sorry, guys. Talk about fast food, am I right? This, this, this is a. Uh, I've made a loop. I've made a loop. Ah, nuts. Well, that's all right. Let's explore. This building a little bit more. Oh, the spider's back. We're bringing spider back. Oh my god, they've all come to the party. The old spider party. This November, when you vote, vote spider party. Man, these spiders are really rocking my world.
Found a pretty good sized spider in my sink a couple of weeks ago. He was a sitting duck. I could have squashed the guy. I was able to wrangle him into a container and let him go. Let him go out by the old garbage cans. Spiders like trash, I assume. If he doesn't, he probably does now. I mean, I didn't throw it in the trash. Oh, that's creepy. Just some creepy kid walking around. That's fine. Creepy kid looking in the trash for a spider pail. Thing. I haven't played this game in a good five years or so. Maybe four years. Four years may as well be a decade. I don't remember what I had for dinner last night. Oh, I remember. Noki! It's fun to say Noki! Especially with that silent G. You can, you can say it to yourself. Or you can just say, Ganoki. It's a Gano problem. If you want to make your own Noki, that's no problem, G-N-O. The G and no is silent. Yeah, you can make Noki, it's easy. Get some mashed potatoes involved. You can even use the uh, potato flakes, if you will. The lazy man's potato. Nothing wrong with the lazy man's potato. The couch potato. Or the slouch potato, if you will. Yeah, they're basically just little, little potato dumplings. Boil them up. Do a little squishing, mashing, twisting, boiling. Next thing you know, G K N O W. Oh my god. You're in Noki Town. Alright, there we go. Well, surprise attack there. A fun surprise. Oh, and I ran into a damned hole. That's outstanding. And, you know, making your own chow at home, not as complicated as you'd think. Just got to follow directions. And these days, what with the onlines, just have the internet tell you how to make it. Yeah, it takes time though. Effort. Gotta wash those dishes. I like to wash those dishes while cooking. Let's do some cleaning and cooking at the same time. The two C's. Cooking, cleaning, and... There's gotta be something else that starts with C we can throw in there. The three C's. Maybe cavorting. Dr. Jack Cavorting. Yeah, let's go this way. This looks like a way. I'll just go back to the spiders. Oh yeah, there's the spider pails. Adios. Octo muchachos. Yeah, otherwise, I mean, you're cooking some fancy feast. 
You make a big ass mess, and it's a disaster. It just snowballs out of control. Best to just do that cooking and cleaning in one fell swoop. Get one of those modern aged washing machines. Just throw the dishes into the dishwasher, no problem. Have the robot clean them while the food's cooking. Come on. For your dinner. These guys aren't very, not very difficult to defeat. It makes me very nervous. Everything makes me nervous in this game. Where's that big fella? Come on, Biggie. Biggie Smalls. Biggie Smalls. Biggie Smalls. Oh my god, he gave me the chop. Alright, good one, guys. Alright, let's try not to fall into a hole this time. Light up the life. Yeah, there's a hole right there. Could have seen it had I been brandishing a torch last time. See, they want me to go for that treasure. Oh, oh good one, kid. And kids these days with their shoving games. Mix shoving. Nothing funnier than a reference, almost a reference to super bad. Ugh. Not a bad flick, but. Ugh. Come on, get that treasure. Lead elixir. Made in China. Oh, come on, let's get up. Up so daisy. We're back outside. Ah, it's all cold pails. Oh, they look like buzzards now. Gross. Wait, no, it's... Oh, it's cold with dog heads. That's... That's great, guys. Oh, and there is a dog in the mix. Oh, it's a dog with a crow's head. That's... That's just great. Ugh. See where the shortcut takes us. Hey, there we go. Now we're in the biz. I really have no reason to go back. Let's go up. Onward and upwards, as they say. Caked in blood. Big, bloody mess. Thought I just heard a baby crying. That's... That's never good. Playing on your primal sense. Oh. Oh good, it's just puppet marionette ghosts. Nothing better than marionette ghosts. To really bolster the spirits. All right.
right, I think we're at a boss oh, here. Cause. Well, some say cosm. Cosmonaut, Alien comrade. Operas. No. We shall not abandon the dream. No one can catch us. No one can stop us now. Afraid that mask does not contain the spread of... I don't know, whatever maladies you may be harboring. Don't wear a cage on your head, folks. Alright, I seem to recall this guy being a real mother, so... Essentially, just keep on running. Hope we can find him. There he is. We can corner him. Might be in a good luck. Good state. And I can't pick up any quicksilver bullets. Whoops, a daisy. Careful, he's got those tentacles, and I think I'm dead. Yes. Hey Could have played it a little smarter. But that's not always my style. One way of getting through these Dark Souls games, these Bloodborne games, And just keep banging your head against the wall until you finally bust through. That's how I usually do these things. As I've stated many a time, I'm not really a great video game player. I just think they're kind of cool. If you do anything long enough, you can you can achieve it. Even the human backflip. If you want to perform the human backflip. I bet with a few years training, you can do the backflip. I myself have never really cared to do the backflip, so I have not been in training for it. All right, Mikolash. Cobb Kalash. A good one, Marionette Ghost. Come on. Sneaky, sneaky. Using a little ninja magic, the old puff of smoke trick. And I missed. That's okay, he missed too. Couldn't be the same for the marionette, though. Of course, the marionette got it. Oh, oh. Where's that heel? Where's that heel? Come on. Come on. Who's in the heel? I'm gonna get you, the heel. He's gonna leave this room now. I'm gonna knock him down a couple of pegs. A couple of Simon pegs. Oh my god. It's halfway. Oh, oh, majestic! A hunter is a hunter, even in a dream. But alas, not too fast. The nightmare swirls and churns unending. Oh, 
Oh yeah, as is the case with all the... Oh, you know, Luke, they could have... Bowie was still alive when uh, this was made. Voiced by David Bowie and written by Iggy Pop. Oh. Poor old David Bowie. At least that Dark Stars last album really kicks ass. Love that disc. Was it Dark Star or Black Star? Oh, there you go. Oh, it's just nice. I might have to listen to that one tomorrow now. I'm on board with that. Come on, Mikolash, where are you at? Dabba do. We're around here somewhere. We'll get to the bottom of this. Oh, no, 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 don't get killed by ghosts. Looks promising. Oh, of course. Well, some say it caused them. Do you hear our prayers? Yeah, it's more of our fun little friends here. Ow, my friends. There he goes. More bullets. I don't need any bullets. Lurking around here somewhere. Ow. Bit of a pain in the keister, just wandering around, but that's okay. Not in any terrible danger. Of course, he's talking about our pal Rom, the vacuous spider who we slew last run. She also was surrounded by some spider pals. A lot of friends to spiders in Bloodborne. This 
probably gonna be up here again. Maybe over there. Or nope. Thank you, Oh no, 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 no. And that's why we tread carefully, folks. Stupidity hurts once again. That's okay, though. We'll get them this time. Or die trying. And honestly, though, there is not too much of this game left. Once I get past this guy, I think there are only a few more bosses to till the end. In theory, I could beat this game tonight. We might miss out on some of the optional areas, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. We are playing it by ear. Alright, we're not going to make the same mistake this time, hopefully. Deke me out. Good trick. I've got a little ace up my sleeves called the sword. Oh, and he's got the squid. The squid is mightier than the sword. It's a good one. It's a good trick. Old squid trick. Alright, there's round one. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Majestic! A hunter is a hunter even in a dream. But alas, not too fast. It is very Bowie sounding. Maybe get old Bing Crosby involved. Ow! The old crossbow gag, another classic. for holes. We all learned a very important lesson about holes. I jumped in the mirror. That's a good trick. There's the hell hole. Hey, bloodstone chunk. I'll take that. Oh, man. Oh, 
Oh shit. Gotta health, gotta stay healthy, gang. You gotta juice. Juice is loose. Metamuse. Iron door key. I could have poked him there. Oh man. Head him off at the pass. Probably just gonna succeed in getting lost. That's, you know, that's something to do. You get lost, it's great American pastime. Let's go this way. Ooh, skitter critter. Feeding those skitter critters. Oh yes. Usually gives you some gear that allows you to power up your weapons, and that's it's always a plus. Oh, you got the old cat o' nine tails. Always good for the old self-flagellation, maybe. When you need to punish yourself for falling down a hole. Maybe when you've fallen down into a K-hole. Holy moly. We are getting fucked up hardcore here. Am I dead? Fucking dead. Marvelous. That's how we do it in America. That's all right. We're down, but not out. I wonder. I wah 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 wonder. I've got enough gear to power up the old sword again. Might not give me the edge I need to defeat this goofball. Kav Kalash just running around. Well, you never can tell. Can't hurt. No, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, still need three more chunks. And we can do the truffle shuffle. Seen a lot of uh, new releases for the Goonies coming out, the 4K version coming out soon. I'm assuming they're. I don't think it's a 40. No, it's not 40 year release anniversary. Goonies was in 1980s. 1986, maybe? 84, 87? I, I don't know. I don't know when the Goonies came out of there, I guess. But I don't know. You like the Goonies. If you haven't seen it to death yet, that's it's out there. Hey, you guys. Still looking for grape flavored ice cream. Alright, we'll assume this is where I was at. Yeah, the Goonies, starring 
Samwise Gamgee, Thanos, the uh, oh Cipher from the Matrix. Who else is in that one? And Corey Feldman. Alright, I've got a good feeling this time. Turn on the old hand lantern for a preemptive victory celebration. Oh, baby. Oh, Joey Pants, that's, uh, he did the cipher. Like he's cipher in the Matrix, Jake. I think everybody forgot about the Matrix at this point. Why are they even making another one? It could be good, I don't know. Honestly, when we, I think it was you, myself, and Chaps, when we all... Caught the Matrix Revolution at the theater is the last time I saw any Matrix-related uh, property. Kind of just killed it for me. And of course, Joe Pantaleone, star of Baby's Day Out. With Kaz Polymetry. I can never pronounce that dude's name. Chaz Bono, we'll just say Chaz Bono. Star of the usual suspects. Didn't even didn't even stand a chance there. Fucked up big time. Cause that's that's how we like to roll. I do recall this boss giving me a bit of bit of trouble. Last time I played him. You know, obviously I beat him eventually. But I remember him being a real, real tough customer. Ooh. I actually had Joe Pantheone. The Red Letter Media Gang featured a flick that he was in not too long ago with... John Rise Davies, star of the Lord of the Rings, also. Robot of the House. Robot of the House. Let this one sink in, folks. You can watch it in its entirety on the YouTube. Robot of the House. Instead of Man of the House, Joe Pantleone. John Rise Davies. And one of the most irritating film robots I've ever seen. It's it's bad. It is bafflingly terrible. Fuck me. See, you got you got to give a little respect to these these mannequin ghosts. They, they will tear your ass up. Oh, that's right. The Roy. Oh, daddy, daddy. Oh, that robot. Oh. Oh. Robot of the house. No. Damn it, Cobb Kalash. I'd advise people, at least you owe it to yourself. Just watch the trailer for Robot of the House at the very least. You thought Star Wars Episode 2 was bad. Or Episode 8 or any of these things, Star Wars, it doesn't matter. Nothing's as bad as Robot of the House. to take out these mannequins. Oh. Alright, 
on that note, I think we're going to take a five here. I'm going to stretch my legs. Get a little more of the old H2O. Kind of drying out here. So I advise everybody. Oh, is it Robot in the Family? Oh, that could be it. I've, yeah, Robot in the Family. Everybody, we're going to take a five here. Look up Robot in the Family. And, uh... Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments when I get back. Oh, my God. Oh, Daddy. Robot in the family. Jesus Christ. Although the theme song is pretty good. Theme song is pretty good at the very least. So, we'll be back in a few. Check out that Robot in the Family trailer.
coming back to you live from the city of mystery and romance, St. Paul, Minnesota, your pale Johnny Six Gun here with part seven of our Bloodborne long play. We're tracking down the dubious Mikolash and the nightmare of Mensis. He's a he's a I must help that blind man. Oh. I think we need to pair that sword. A little do re me. Yeah, I hope folks had enough time to check out the trailer for Robot and the Family. Thank you for correcting me on that, Luke. I watch so many of these terrible movies, it's hard for me to keep them all straight. Sometimes I'll start watching one of these bad flicks. Might get a half hour in before I realize I've seen this before. But yeah, if uh, you know, if you want to see a bad movie, yeah, yeah, Luke, it doesn't get any better. It gets much more irritating. <laughs> it's one of the most irritating movies I've ever seen. It's mind-boggling. The mind boggles. At the mere thought of Robot in the Family. Not not nice as having Roomba in the family helping out. Cleaning up some dust. I don't know about Yeah, that I mean there is just uh I, it's it's just baffling. I don't understand. I mean, I don't. I have to assume Joe Pampliano is Italian. I don't know what he's going for there. Greek or some sort of a Arabic thing. I I I just don't understand. I really love this walkway. That's a cool looking walkway. Alright, let's see if we can track down old Mikolas. See what he's got going on in that crazy cage. Johnny Cage. The old nut punch. Might do a quick uppercut and pop your head off. Mama had a baby and... Her head popped off. The old dandelion gig. Alright, let's see if I can not botch it this time. Some of these mannequins. The word mannequin was filmed at Woolsworth. Or Woolworths, Woolworths, if you prefer. Oh dear. Hey, for you Ween fans, any Ween fans in the house? Free live streaming Ween concert this Friday, tomorrow night, 7 p.m. at the exact same time. I'll be playing some games live. So you can listen to Ween, you can watch old Johnny, play some vids. We'll be your Johnny on the spot. You might find out what, what Diener was talking about. So yeah, do a little web search for that free Ween show tomorrow night. That's That, that could be a good one. Oh! <laughs> Majestic! Hunter is a hunter, even in a dream. Nothing better than that ween show but we were at when I was not wearing the Jolly fast. Roger shirt, sporting the but eye patch, you know, bludgeoned my eye. 
and passed out during the song Johnny on the Spot. Johnny Six Gun was Johnny on the Spot. Oh, is this so darned hot? Alright, I want to go down here this time, and I'm going to be, be a little more wary of that big old butcher. I once did for the vacuous moment. illuminate the path here what do you find dad illumination junior and we whipped it watched it again the sound of the man working on the chain. Gay Eang. Katie Lang. Great Nico Case. Katie Lang. And someone weird is Kang. Kang. I voted for Kodos. Playing case and weirs. Nice all gales. Alt country album that came out a few years ago. Outstanding. Loved it. If you love your Nico case, which I do, if you appreciate Katie Lang, sure, why not? And whoever this weirs character is, I don't know what her deal is, but she was in good company, so. Three's company too. Da -da 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 -da. Oh! That howl in there, very reminiscent of Bobby Jr., the dog of Mark Oliver Everett E., frontman of Eels. I was actually listening to Blinking Lights and Other Revelations, which I feel is the Eels' best album. Not necessarily my favorite, but I think it's their best. I'm listening to that this week, and that's that's a good. One. God damn, is that a good couple of discs? Uh, fantastic music. Gotta love those eels. We gotta go for the treasure. Kind of a sap. Sap for the tre oh. Alright, that was a good one. That was a good one. The old cage gag. Ah, oh, cause. Some say cause. As you once did for the vacuous world. Grant us eyes. Grant us eyes. Grant Eyes on our brains to oh, shit. Beast. The grand lake of man. Well, we got the cage match going, I guess. Oh, that looks bad. I mean, it looks cool, but... That one hurt. Let's 
gotta get lucky. Not so lucky. Really spamming that thing. Spam, 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 spam. Ooh, and the old tent accrual. Tent accrual. I'm getting so close. Yet so far. Oh, did we get him? Oh, we didn't get him. go we got him now we can wear the cage on our head and up with the bridge up with mini skirts to see if I can find the damn thing. Hopefully it's right there. Wouldn't that be kind of kind? There we go. I'm quite a mess here. So there we go. Let's wear this goofy cage on our head. Do some cage and cooking. We're not wearing that fucking cage on our head. Then I would be Johnny Cage. Ugh. Let's find that bridge. Let's go to Bridgman's. Have a little iced cream. Ice cream would be a fine treat on a summer evening like tonight. Hey, we found the bridge. I could really go for a... Maybe a nice drumstick right now. A nice ice cream novelty. Yeah, I think we got enough to even level up. Power up. Ooh, a phosphate. I am going to the general store for a phosphate. Maybe one of Mr. Graham's crackers. Yeah, we could actually dress ourselves up like the ghost well, of mediocrity on, in this game. Might be a little classy, but wouldn't be funny as college comedian Blueberry Head. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. I always like to dig on the doll's dialogue every now and again. Always fun to be infatuated with fictional characters. Kind of like being infatuated with real-life celebrities. Real-life celebrities Farewell. don't exist. They do about as much as... fictitious characters. Alright. Oh yeah, we'll use that moon one to level up a little more. And beast out. Going to beast mode. Ooh. What was that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mer. Still need three more chunks. Chunk of coal. Yeah, I can level up the stupid pistol, I guess. But not too much more. Just for kicks. Never want to wander into battle willy-nilly. Silly Billy. Alright, we're looking pretty tough. Looking pretty buff. I think we're, we've run out of blood, blood vials. We've been using more than we've been finding. This is not good. Not good for the home team. I'm 
just for kicks. Let's check out, see what the Queen of the Vampires is up to. She's probably just hanging out, as she's been for centuries. Let's bring her some good news. Hey, Queenie. Closest of kin, bearer of our blood, I welcome thee. What is thy wish? I got some blood drags for you, sweetie. Thy gift pleases us. Let this reward. Come on, treasure. Indulge thyself in our tainted blood. <laughs> tainted blood, wasn't that a song from Soft Cell? Gotta respect the condoms. That's all we get out of that. Yeah, nuts to you, lady. We are still going to. Whoop! Oh no! No! Deep respect. Press X to show respect. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's not bad. More or less worthless, but not bad. So let's press on. Let's let's see what shakes out here. As I mentioned earlier in the stream, not really having a goal here tonight. Not really sure what we're shooting for. Just shooting for victory. We've taken down a few crafty bosses so far. But the worst is yet to come. Monsters lurking already, that's great. A spooky castle. Oh, I think I remember this area. Might run into some really Oh, we got dogs. We got the crow dogs again. Crow dog numb. We got the dog crow. Science has run amok. Got the crying baby again. That's that's great. I have to assume this will bring us somewhere. I don't know, let's find out. Probably down by the other cage. Oh yeah, I remember the shortcut now. But yeah, that's. Yeah, it goes back down to the base eventually. Fantastic level design in Bloodborne. Very interconnected. Very cool. A lot of thought went into this game. Well, this cage is kind of fucked up. We can just... Oh! We can just walk right out of this cage. I think... I saw a little secret down here. So long as I don't botch it. Which is something I do regularly. We botched it. There we go. This is going to be a... Yeah, that's a little Wily Coyote style for you there. Big Wily style. And that's... That's how I roll. I roll out of the cage and into the void. Into the void. Wasn't that the name of that another Lovecraftian type flick that came out not too long ago. I think it was Into the Void. It was really cool. If you're a big fan of maybe Silent Hill? You know, creepy stuff like this? Into the Void, I believe it was called. Damn, that was a cool movie. Yeah, 
Oh, we got a chunk there. Well, before we die again, well, thanks for the blood echoes, guys. Let's turn on that lantern. Let's not fall into this hole. I have got to see what is in that secret window. And I fucked it up again. Excellent. Yes. Hey -o. That's all right. That's that just means you need another slug of water, a little slugworth, the old slugworth sizzler. Yeah, so long, crazy crow dog. I'm obsessed now. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in this window. That's gonna be cool. Damn it. Ha! Easy street. Let's be careful. Let's exercise caution. Hmm. Ooh, treasure. Oh good, we've got an inflicted organ. I'm going to play the Inflicted Organ. A little bit of the entertainer being played on the Inflicted Organ. The Organ Trail. Oh, I bet I know what that is. Probably material used. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, that lets you go into the Chalice Dungeons, which are randomly generated dungeons. You can wander, looking for treasure. I don't really do those. I like the main game. You want to look out for these mother brains here. They they'll drive you insane very quickly. That's too but I've gone insane. That's not good. It just really hurts you. Hurts you big time. It is best not to tangle with these ladies. Oh dear. We got some points. And we've gone insane and have been defeated. That's okay. We got to go in the secret hole. I don't want to see those ladies secret hole. Am I right, gents? Huh? You guys heard about this? You seen this? And my sanity is now dropping. Let's take out the crow dog. Rude dog and the, the dweebs. I think rude dog's about a crazy big comeback. So everybody go on eBay. Get those rude dog t-shirts. Wear them proudly. You'll be the biggest asshole on your block. Let's see what these characters are up to. Building spirits and blowing flames. Flame old, flame old. Alright, got some fire shooting down. It's always exciting. Oh my god. 
little pyromancy going on. Nothing fancy, just pyromancy. Pyro Nancy. I knew this girl named Nan. Saw you talking to Danny. Fucker. She's a fucker too. I might have to listen to some ween tomorrow. Oh, what do we got here? We got the big pig. The old piggly wiggly. Right up the bungus. Sorry, piggo. Oh, he's still alive, and he's covered with eyes. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, got some blood vials out of the deal. Thank the goodness. Really hurting for blood vials right now. That's not a good place to be. Oh, it's more eyeball pig. We'll go for the trash, and then we'll go oh, with oh, shit. Trampled by pigs. Excellent. Fun fact about the city of mystery and romance, St. Paul, Minnesota. For it being dubbed St. Paul. Nice Christian name. Used to be called Pig's Eyes Landing. Named for the French bootlegger who was slinging booze to the riverboat folk traveling the mighty Mississippi. Even had a little brew dedicated to old Pig's Eye Perron. Back in the day. I don't know if they still make Pig's Eye at this point. Huh? Here at the moment, haven't been drinking too much, but if I'm ever at the liquor store in the near future, I'll see if they have old Pig's Eye available still. Pig's Eye Pilsner. I like your classic Midwestern dad beer. Like a Ham's or a Stroh's or a Lone Star. Maybe you like an old style. I like an old style every now and again. It's fully Croison. None of that half Croison bullshit. Thank you very much. I was always a big fan of the Dirty 30, though. Getting that 30 pack of hams. Used to be brewed on the east side of St. Paul. Or maybe you like a Grain Belt Premium. Now being brewed in New Ulm, Minnesota. Used to be brewed right here in the West 7th neighborhood of the City of Mystery and Romance. As a matter of fact, we have Dale Johnny worked at the brewery that put up that green belt premium back in the day. He used to operate the decalitizer machine. That was one fucking dangerous piece of machinery. Almost mangled me on at least a few occasions. But I survived. A lot of fun stories about that brewery, but we'll save those for another day. And we got flattened by the pig. The old slam hammer. Slammed by the ham. The hams. Hams, the beer refresher from the land of Sky Blue Waters, made from water best for brewing. I'm not gonna horse around with those pigs. I'm gonna regain our blood echoes. We're gonna we're gonna sneak by them. And we're not going to retrieve our blood echoes because we've been defeated by the Swingin' Swordsman. Or Nick Swordsden, famed comedian, popularized by the character Terry from Reno 911. Another Minnesota native. 
Another local boy making good. Usually pops up in those Adam Sandler pictures. I, I don't know about that, but hey, at least he got paid. I think we're going to go for that shiesty shortcut again. Inevitably, we have to get to the area with the mother brains. This might be our best ticket there. Or, once again, we could employ the ancient Joe Star secret tactic of running. We'll try one more sneak attack here. If this fails, we will run for our lives. Oh shit. Yeah, we're gonna try running next time. Sometimes running is faster than falling. Got our nice loading screens showing all the items that I never use. I don't need any of that fancy schmancy baloney. I got a sword. I borderline know how to use it. Take out Mr. Toasty here first. Oh, oh. Walk me, Toasty. See here. I'll take oh Jeebus. Take out the easy pig. Easy pig. Sweetie. Oh dear. A whole hunting party over there, that's not good. Let's go down these secret stairs. Ooh, bloodstone chunks. Ooh. Nice trap. We got Pyro Nancy lurking somewheres. But I think we've got enough to power up our sword. Right up the fungus. Oh, that's a hell of a moon there. Ooh, Skitter Critter. Excellent. Ho ho ho. Well, I fear I know where this has led me. I think it's just back to the beginning. Yeah, more chunks. Give me the chunks. Yeah, we're back by our old pale pirate Nancy again. Which means we're back in the pig's brown eye. Brown eyed pig. Never had a good wedding. And they're playing brown eyed pig instead of brown eyed girl. Their wedding reception, they're playing Brown Eyed Girl, that's not very good either. Although it beats the hell out of that chicken dance, yuck. For folks not familiar with the chicken dance, it's a Midwest tradition. 
in which they play a silly little polka song, people do a chickeny dance, and everyone wishes that the wedding had never happened. And we're going to see if we can power up that sword. Let's see how tough we are here. All right, we can do it if we get 600 blood echoes. Which is conveniently how many blood echoes I can get for selling 20 bullets. The Quicksilver Bullets. Heard rumors that PlayStation 5 is going to use some Quicksilver in it, some mercury, some liquid metal, in order to keep cool. Am I going to buy a PlayStation 5? Probably not off the bat. I think I'm good for... Ooh, I need a blood rock now. Do you smell what the blood rock is cooking? Those are hard to find in this game. Yeah, I don't know. Pretty good on the PS4 for now. Got, got plenty of games to play. Got games on SNES I still haven't beaten. Ugh. All right. So we got some good treasure. We've got a good lay of the land. Land of the lost. Living in the land of the lost. So we're gonna we're gonna mosey. We're gonna boogie big time. We're gonna jet. Through this level, if I go the correct direction, or the correction, if you will. Oh, good, we got some rocks. I got a blood vial. I got twin bloodstone. Ugh, I got a rock. Nancy. Oof. She was hot on my heels. Mm. Right in the bunk. Hey, you got some blood vials. Thank thank the maker. This oil bath is going to feel so good. Alright. Yeah, you guys talk amongst yourselves. I'm gonna fuck off this away. Oh, we've got Queen Yarn. I'm just hanging out. Try show respect. That's a no go. Hello. So, you know, always fun to run into a royal ghost. Let her be. Sometimes if you let ghosts be, they'll let you be. I'm a staunch believer in that. Don't hassle a ghost if it's not going to hassle you. There we go, we've opened up a shortcut. We 
Which is right there. Perfect. Which means we're probably approaching another boss encounter in the near future. And she's still lurking up there. Jesus, that makes me nervous. Let's look for treasure. Do 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 do. Well, I'll get it later. Or we might just lose it. Oh well. Oh, I'm not going. I'm not tempting fate. I'll let her be. Let sleeping ghosts die. This is an actual college party. We got the moon, we got the baby. Three moons and a baby. Oh, the baby. Hello, baby. Oh, my God. This is one of the cooler looking bosses in the game. Mergo is wet nurse, I believe. Fuck, is that cool? We'll see what shakes out. I seem to recall this not being a terrible boss, but it doesn't take much in this game. A chopping like of a god in Lisa. Previously mentioned that. Turbo hats. Hardware stories everywhere. Slice and dice. That was a good trick. I'll try spinning. That's a good trick. You could say this boss is a cut above the rest. Alright. I have a shadow world. I think I might have beaten that one the first time. The first time I played her as well. Over the baby. Oh, very reminiscent of Death from Guillermo del Toro's Hellboy 2, the Golden Army. Nightmare Slave. Yeah, I, I love that Hellboy, too. 
Liked it a lot more than the first. I like the first one, but Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. I recommend it highly. Very, very special comic book movie. Love that one. Even though it had Seth MacFarlane in it voicing, uh, oh boy, who is that ghost? Oh, it's been so long since I've read the Hellboy comics. Oh, man, Johannes, I want to say, maybe. Despite that, still a great movie. I really wish they would have done a third Hellboy movie with Del Toro. When they didn't, they went for the reboot. Oh, shit. Things are looking bad. Good hunter. You have come. Dawn will soon break. This night and this dream will end. Gammon awaits you at the foot of the great tree. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Oh, somebody would have asked me, Let which they wouldn't. Close. If you could pick now a director to do a Hellboy movie who's not Del Toro. I shit you not, I would have said Neil Marshall, director of Dog Soldiers and The Descent, Centurion, and Doomsday. Oh, fantastic movie maker. And he's who they picked to actually do the Hellboy movie. And he it, it turned out to be shit. Matthew Modine, I didn't buy him as Hellboy. Just not as much fun as Pearlman. I mean, it was just all over the place. I think there was a lot of Hollywood tampering there. I think he was doomed from the get-go, and I'm, I'm sure it's going to hurt Marshall's career, but that's a shame. I, yeah, terrific director. I was hoping he's going to make it big time in that third Hellboy movie. Just, ugh, ugh. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your way. Yeah, I, I hear you, J Dub. I mean, it was. Oh, I. Oh, I was just rooting for it. But even from the offset, it was, it was just Modine. I, I was. I wasn't feeling him. And it was just all over the place. Just a mess. Which is good. Hellboy's about globe trotting, and all right. Mexican Lucha Libra Vampire, I like that, that's great, but it just didn't work, and then hunting the trolls, and then just... I mean, ugh, ugh, just a mess. And speaking of a mess, we got a hot mess up here. Wait, can I level Gammon up again? Go. Very well, let me... Oh yeah, I totally can. A little more endurance. I, uh, I'll watch it again. I won't buy the Hellboy remake. I'll watch it again at some point, but I don't think my opinion's gonna change. Farewell, it's just, just a bummer. Oh, we can buy quite a few blood vials. Let's do that. And what we're also going to do... We're gonna beat the fucking game right now. We're not going to go for the good ending, the great ending, which I've already done that in the past. If you're curious about it, you can look it up yourself. But, you know, this seven rounds of Bloodborne, I haven't unlocked a single new trophy yet, even though I don't really do anything. I'm going to get a different ending for a different trophy, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to tackle the last boss right now. There's still many optional areas for us to explore. There's the downloadable content. But we're just going for it. We all get it. We get Bloodborne. If it looks cool, go out and buy it yourself. Give it a shot. I think anybody with any skill level, if you got the guts, the grit, the determination, the courage, you too can be a master hunter in Bloodborne. So there's plenty of stuff for you to see still. I haven't shown everything. Hell, I might not even beat the last boss here. I've done it in the past. Will I this time? I don't know. But here we are. We're in the Hunter's Dream. A beautiful field of flowers. And that insane man in the wheelchair. Apparently Hunter Gehrman is waiting for us. Will we accept his challenge? Shit. 
Shake off the cape. Good hunter. You've done well. The night is near its end. Now, I will show you mercy. You will die, forget the dream, and awake under the morning sun. You will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream. So we've got two options now, gang. I'm gonna leave it to, well, I know, I know J-Dub's out there still. We can submit our life. Garman will kill us. And that's one of the better endings. That's where we shake off the shackles of constantly returning to the hunter's dream. Or we can refuse to give our lives to the Garman. We can fight back and find out what happens. If anyone's tuning in out there, I'll give you a moment. Should I submit my life or should I refuse? I'll give you a few moments. If anyone answers, that's what I'm going to do. I, either way, I haven't gotten either of those trophies. I can take either ending. If I submit my life, I don't even have to fight a last boss. That's right, Luke. It's a toughie. I can go either way. I can take him down. I've got the skills. i got the tools. i got the talent. I just submit my life, leave the dream, die on my own terms, like Robin Williams, star of Popeye, Toys, Millennium Man, refuse and refuse. The people have spoken, it's go time. <laughs> We're going to fight back hard like Williams in dear, oh one hour dear. photo. What was it? The hunt? The blood? Or the horrible dream? Oh, it doesn't matter. He's got the high ground. It always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. Here we are fighting the ghost of Tonight, mediocrity. Gammon joins the hunt. Oh dear. Alright. Probably gonna die a few times here. Maybe not. Maybe I got the fighting spirit. We've got spirit, yes we do. See if we got lucky. A few stabs in the dark. Ooh. Oh, just there. This one's not gonna do it. It's a whip. Ooh, got 
I can do this all day, old man. He's at about half health. I've used up half my health potions. He is pissed. He's going into beast mode. Okay, he got me there. I learned a lesson about... I don't know what I learned a lesson about, but... I learned it real hard. Alright, we've still got 20 vials, so we're doing okay. Well, before we wander off, let's get some encouragement from the doll. Who's she rooting for? Gammon awaits you at the foot of the great tree. Go on, good hunter. Good hunter, your presence somehow soothes. I sense the ancient echoes. They course your veins. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. That may be the last time we speak with the doll. Alright. Come on, old timer. Old slimer. There he comes. He's coming in hot. That's gonna whip. That's gonna... Ooh. Stuck him. He stuck him. Stuck him like an eight-eyed pig. Oh, that, that one. Hurt. Call that one the stinger. Uh-oh. Gave us the hook there. Oh, couldn't heal in time. That's okay, as they say, if you're going to fail, fail fast. As you can see, we no longer have the option. We must defeat Garman. We refuse the easy out. We're going down, kicking and screaming. Stabbing and swiping. Swiper, stop. Deep. That's okay. Greed is good, apparently, according to the movie Wall Street, starring Michael Douglas. I've never seen Wall Street because I don't understand how the stock market works. I'm no economist. The only stocks I'm worried about are the ones I'll be placed in for public humiliation if I don't defeat Gehrman tonight. Oh dear. Get those rotten tomatoes ready. Maybe that soft cabbage. 
Oh shit. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna say that I threw that one necessarily. It's testing the waters. Well, we can't take too much damage right off the bat. If it's looking pear shaped right at the get go, might be in our best interest to just, you know, flub it. Make a better attempt next time. Better luck next slime. Get that great sword going. Damn, is that a cool weapon? Uh oh. Even better than Hot Shots Part Two. Or oh god, what was that one with Emilio Estevez where they were garbage? Men. Stabs. That we can do, though. Alright, maybe one more stab. Alright, now he's minorly upset. He hasn't gotten a third stage upset yet. He popped me. Pop, pop, soda pop. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Give me a little hot spark. See how he likes that. Uh oh. Pissed off. That was a, a smackdown. Let's just see what happens. Alright, lucky day. Oh, what a wonderful day. Give another zapper, why not? Didn't seem to like that too much. Uh-oh. 
potions left, no problem. For him. Uh-oh. One more potion left. And he's flying. He's flying. That's not good. A lot of potions now. Gotta take a miracle. A miracle mile. Oh, shit. You must accept he got me. Death. Darn it. Be free that was a close one, though. We were, we we're getting there. Starting to run out of Gamino, go. crazy old potions. Oh, whoops. Close. Can't level now up if we don't have eyes. any blood echoes. Come on, Dolly. Let's see what we got in the old treasure trove. Might even have enough to eke another level out. Go. Gammon awaits. Go. Very well. Let me. A little more endurance. Helps us run a bit more. Swing that sword a little harder and even get a little defense out of the deal. The old deal fence. And the remainder. Goes into the blood vial. Fund. I'm going the old hot house here. See if our sword needs repair. A little bit. Every little bit helps. Just one drop. Louisiana hot sauce. Alright, we'll do a little more prep work this time. We're not going to need the lantern. So let's get rid of that. Not going to need any antidotes. We could try tossing some molotovs. Ooh, some poison knives maybe. Too much good stuff here. Take Yosefka's blood vial. That's a quick heal for us. That could come in handy. What the hell? Let's let's take the poison knives just for kicks. Got any fire paper? We'll bring the fire paper along too. We're I'm just gonna go for it. See what the see what shakes out. See if we can just poison them. Be a sneaky trick. I don't think he'll fall for it, but him enough with these poison knives. He can he can poison enemies and bosses. Gonna get the slow drain. 
you encounter the slow drain or just liquid plumber foaming pipe snake. Nimble, nimble old fella. Old fella. Come back, fella. Oh, that's gonna be. Oh, he ran right into it. That's good news for old Jim. He's pissed. Come on, run into it. Oh, he's barely missed. Slam my ass right through that tombstone. See how he likes the hot sword. Hot one in the old town tonight. <laughs> Timer. Oh shit. I so fucked up. I botched it. That was 100% me. I could have healed. And I didn't. That's okay. Doesn't look like the fire hurts him so much. Poison knives didn't really do too much to him. So we'll just keep zapping him with the sword. Old Garman won't know what hit him. This one's bad. That's a bad one. Still nothing funnier in showbiz than the old stage show where the old hook comes off and pulls off the sour act. That's, that's pretty funny. Nothing more demeaning than a bad comic just getting pulled right off stage with the hook. That's funny. It's funnier than most comedy. Oh shit. <laughs> Foolish. If I just. Oh, it's gonna save me if I get super aggressive, but I don't think that's a very good idea. Alright, now he's pissed off. That heel. Let's give him a zap. That's how he likes uh, the shocker. Getting back to our Spider Man here, the shocker. Whoops. Now it's more of the soccer, because I just got kicked in the ball. Off. 
Back off, Jack off. I'll get old China. Uh oh. See if we can trick him. Oh, that was a good trick. Alright, more tricks. Oh. Got a critical on me, that's not good. Five. Four potions left. He's flying. Do that Superman. Oh shit, on a shingle. Oh, the old one-hit kill, why not? That's okay, we're doing it. We're getting them right down there. It's just gonna take a... Oh, oh, it's taking a dive. We're down to 18 blood vials. I don't know that I have any more cash in the bank. Gonna do a quick detour, get a dash of cash. Just so we don't run out of those blood vials. That's alright. I'll show you a quick grinding tip for all you folks out in TV land, if you ever decide to accept the challenge of Bloodborne. Let's get your old fire weapon equipped. Maybe you got a weapon with a fire gem in it. Go to the old school. So you're an old fool. Let's start taking these rubber students to play. Fuck you up a little bit. It's okay. We can get enough blood echoes to level up in a song. Can even go up a few. I mean, usually when I'm playing the Bloodborne, got my own tunes rocking. It's the best way to play, in my opinion. And yeah, just by. Repeatedly rocking those students there. You got enough blood echoes to go to the blood bank. Just wash, rinse, repeat. We got enough cash to get a couple more blood vials. We won't even need that many, because we're going to defeat Garman right now. Maybe. Alright. Do the badass pose, and let's boogie. Blood vials, at least. Ugh. That bolt paper costs 5,000 blood echoes a pop. Not too worried about it. I 
I think we've got him. It's just gonna take that at one time. This could be it. Maybe we'll hold off on the lightning till we get him down to about half health. Ah! Ow! Or the IHOPs, the International House of Burgess. The House of Burgesses. We are live from the city of mystery and romance, St. Paul, Minnesota here. Hoping to take down Garman here. Could be the last boss encounter in Bloodstain. We're not doing great, but we're having fun while trying. And I should have seen that coming. He got me. I deserve that. Fuck me in the goat ass. That's all right. I think we might have them this time. It's hot and humid tonight, not unbearable. But, like most of the country, it's flyover territory. No, it's, it's fine. All the amenities of home. How are things going in good old Idaho tonight? Folks staying cool out there, hopefully. I believe St. Paul is, I don't know how cromulent any of these studies are, but the most livable city in the nation. So if you move to fabulous St. Paul, Minnesota, you can live. Hot and boring, there you go. That's, you know, pretty much what's cooking around the whole country these days. Maybe living in the Big Apple, New York City. Still can't really do that much these days. Gearman is really upset with me this run.
Shake, 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 Signora. Well, being in the Midwest, you certainly got the drinking part down. Until we say, screw it. Oh, shit. That screwed me there. That's fine. Alright, monster. Flying attack, that's marvelous. Well, couldn't avoid the big buck, though. There's a Superman. How are we doing tonight? I see you're doing better than I am. We're taking a thump in here. We're not giving up. Never despair. Always reach for that heal button. vials. He is pissed off. He is very pissed off. You must accept Son of a biscuit. That's the way the cookie crumbles. And the fun part is, gang, there is still... I mean, we don't have the option to take the easy ending anymore, which is fine. Taking the easy way out at this point of the game would be a bit of a shame. Although, I could still go for the difficult, quote-unquote, good ending. Although that doesn't appeal. I've done that before, and that just means that after defeating Garman, that there's, an, there's another boss waiting, and I don't care for that. Not tonight. Although, be sure to tune in tomorrow night, gang, when we're gonna do six guns, one and done, whatever, I, just, I don't know, we just play into your retro game, track beat it in one night. Tomorrow night we're gonna be playing a little game called Escape Goat 2. Puzzle platformer, really good music, fun puzzles, and you play as a goat. Talking Jim Brewer Goat Boy here. We're talking a uh, died in the wool, literally, goat. With the help of a mouse and a magic hat, we're gonna solve some puzzles. Be a little more relaxing than the continuous beat down of the soul shattering defeats of Bloodborne. We're still having a little fun with the old Bloodborne, though. We're gonna... We're gonna take down the German. And we can get on with our evenings. Exactly. The goats like to escape. Oh, what? I don't want to talk to the doll. 
No, it's Scapegoat 2. It's, uh, sec I mean, the original is Scapegoat. It's just one of the funnier titles I've ever heard of. Yeah, Scapegoat, great, but Escapegoat, ah. I see what you did there, guys. Alright. Let's see if I left any good treasure up in the old storage bin. Even in the storage bin. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, there we go. No, not nothing worth a damn. That's fine. Got our blood vials. Got our big ass sword. We've got raised spirits. Don't have any damn bolt paper, but. Hey, what do you do then? When you're out of paper, you use your hand. Hand on the sword. We're gonna hand Garmin a little beat down, maybe. Come on, old timer. You already done goofed, Garmin. Might as well just climb back into that wheelchair, you old codger. That codger is quite the dodger. Really avoiding those attacks deftly. There might be a botch run here. Let's see. Yep, this is a botch. That's fine. Nothing wrong with dying in Bloodborne. That's how the race was run. Still loaded up on blood vials. Filled up on piss and vinegar. And first it was just vinegar. Can you drink vinegar? Yeah, I'm sure it's bad for your teeth, but is that a viable drink? This, I don't know if it is that healthy. Is it a poison? I mean, I know I do eat the uh, apple cider vinegar trick. A little apple cider vinegar with my water gives it a bit of a tang. Supposedly helps burn belly fat. So the Germans would have us believe, but yeah, you just drink a big old glass of vinegar. That's something that can be done. I'm not saying try it at home, I'm saying maybe ask Jeeves about that. Alright, he's pissed off now. Get it pissed on. This isn't good. This isn't good. It's not as bad. Not as bad. And then we'll run away. My little runaway. Run, run. Run, run. run. Son of a bitch. I'll be hanging this one up. This isn't, yeah, yeah, it was a waste of blood vials, and that's okay. No use crying over spilt blood. The blood is the life. The children of the night. Bleh. Oh my god, and we don't even have full blood vials anymore. That's... I think what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to do a couple of grinds here. Fires thing off of that guy. Oh no no no. Oh actually.
Yep, we got the uh, DLC in Bloodborne Nublets. It's, uh, oh my god, is it a nightmare. And last week we explored Kanehurst Castle filled with ghosts and the Queen of the Vampires herself. Who we swore fealty to, because why not? Some vampires are sexy. Like Tom Cruise in the interview with the vampire. Alright, let's quit horsing around here. Alright, we're gonna do two dashes through the lecture building. Should get us enough dough to get a couple of bolt papers. Get a bunch of blood vials, and we're gonna beat this damn game. And when you throw a fire gem on your great sword, you can really do a number on these kids. Goes here and there. Hello, thank you very much. Hey, and we even got some bullets out of the deal. What an evening. So we can just do that a couple of times, get ourselves some full health. So we can. Hopefully stand a chance against that last boss. Oh, that bolt paper's gotten entirely too expensive. Yeah, I gotta agree with you there, J-Dub, that wine. That's instant hangover juice. Or is that a line from Interview with the Vampire? It's been a long time since I've seen that one. Although Kirsten Dunst was pretty hot in there. A little gag for the folks that actually remember. Interview with the Vampire. Kirsten Dunst was probably like 10 years old when she was in that, so... You know, we, we make our attempts at comedy here. And they're always wildly successful. Everyone is constantly in stitches, which is why YouTube just can't stop sending me those checks. Mostly wheat checks, unfortunately. I prefer the corn or rice checks myself. Good with the soy silk. I go with the unflavored no sugar added 30 calories per serving I haven't purchased checks in a while or crispix for that matter you have some frosted mini wheats in the cupboard though pretty excited about Kellogg's frosted mini wheats even though I couldn't afford the Kellogg's, so I got off-brand Frosted Mini Wheats. Oh, that's right. Gary Oldman, blah, blah, blah. Starring Keanu Reeves and... Let's see, Anthony Hopkins, Winona Ryder. It's fine. The Dracula movie's fine. I'd like to see that Mary Shelley's Frankenstein with De Niro again. That one I haven't seen since he dropped on VHS back in 95, 96 maybe. I wonder if that's any good. Or I could just watch Young Frankenstein for the probably 13th time. It would be worthwhile. Uh, 
Let's let's get nuts. I'm too cheap to purchase the bolt paper. We'll just put a bolt element on the sword. Whoops. Almost made a critical misstep there. Alright, we got our defense increased. Do 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 do. Oh yeah, raise the HP. Raise the roof. Although just barely. Alright. Now oh, I've got a very good feeling about this run. Let's see how that bolt sword does. An old Garman here. Might start his old black heart. Oh. Alright, this we're, we're gonna throw this one. I, I'm not even going to attempt. Well you must accept you. Could always make an attempt. Never give up. I wasn't gonna throw any cash away on that run. Alright. This run's been going for three hours, forty minutes. We're throwing a twenty-minute timer on here. If we don't beat Garman in twenty minutes, well, something's gonna happen. It's not gonna be good. I'm gonna have to watch Robot in the Family again. I don't want that. element is certainly on the sword. You must Don't know that's really death. hurting him much more than just powering the sword up with a regular gem. We're gonna throw another regular one on there. We'll see what happens. I gotta admit, guys, when you said refuse, in my heart of hearts, I was really hoping you're gonna just say give up. I did not want to fight Garman tonight. But that's not what life is about. Life isn't about doing what you want. It's about doing what has to be done. And we can't give up. Not after all the blood, sweat, and tears we've poured into this run. It'd be very anticlimactic to just give up. So I'm glad that the choice that was made was made. Alright. Powered up. Got a sword piled up, got a stick of juicy fruit. Taste is gonna move ya. Just for kicks, we're gonna grab fire paper. We're gonna get some oil. Texas tea. We're gonna, gonna get a little fired up this round. See if oil's well that ends well. Alright, old timer. I'm gonna douse ya. I totally missed. Alright, this is a botch run. Well, not necessarily. how we do it. Got a parry, apparently. I've never been good at parrying in these games. I'm still not. <laughs> eee. Keep trying it out, why not? Uh oh. 
You must accept your death. That's okay. I'm hoping it is going to cool down out tonight. Really nice to open those windows. Let's let some fresh air in. Honestly, can't wait for this fucking summer to have ended. It's too darn hot. Too hot to handle. Too cold to hold. They're called the Ghostbusters, and they're really old. Oh, we got them that time. Light them up. Yeah. Not really worth it. So we're off to a good start, at least, this round. Goof around too much carry. Nope, we're fucking. Nope, we're not doing that at all. Go with what you know, that's what I say. Round the bend and back again. That's the sailor's way. We'll throw, throw the old hot sword on there. Can't hurt. Might hurt him. Oh. Nuts. And he doesn't like the hot sword so much. the hot sword going. Well, flame and sheep, come on. Fuck you, you fucking old cunt. Just die, please. Damn that attack. Fuck me. God damn it. Alright, gang. That one wasn't the magic run. Did okay ish. Not gonna lie, I'm overheating at this point. Probably should have taken a cooling shower before battling Gearman. And it's hotter than a son of a gun in this house, and doesn't really help the old temperament. But that's okay. A little anger is good for the blood. Increases the heart rate. Good for the skin. The old crispy skin. 
Alright, already off to a rocky start. That's okay. Rocky road. Oh my goodness. Alright, this is a botch run. No, no, it's not. Can't give up. Never give up. Come on, old timer. Bastard. That's fine. Accept your death. That's fine. We'll lose that one. That one was going nowhere. He's a real nowhere man. Sitting in his nowhere land. Making all his nowhere plans for nobody. All right. Still doing okay, still got 20 blood vials. Got my big ass sword. We got trouble. Pop-a-matic trouble, or maybe pop -a -matic headache is more appropriate here. Oh, funny one, pal. That is fine. I am just on fucking fire, though. Wish I could go into work at this uh, temperature. Go in, have a little temperature taken robot. Say, oh, 101 degrees. You don't have to go to work today. But inevitably, I will go to work tomorrow, and I'll have cooled down by then. Physically, at least. Come on, Garen, take a stand. Oh! He's, a, he's an adept old fella. Now, yeah, we'll give this one a shot. Oh, fuck me. I think we can do it. I think we got him. This is a magic run, gang. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, son of a bitch. Nothing wrong with a little positivity, but you delude yourself. Never got shot. That crazy old timer. Temperature with this old fella. Oh, son of a biscuit. Let's shoot the fire paper for now. In favor of a slow, painful death. Now, death will come quickly, rest assured. Them off a little bit. I got lucky, I might stagger him. We're just burn up 600 blood echoes worth of bullets. Why not? 
Everything counts in large amounts. Alright, he got a little payback there. He really peppered my porridge. He is yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's coming to do. Walking up and down the street with the juice. Kato Kale. Son of a bitch. Fuck me. Fuck me. Alright, now he's really pissed off. Come around, do your scream. Have your little tantrum. See what shakes out. Good old fucking shotgun. Shotty too high. Jesus Christ. Not a fucking chance am I going to defeat him. Absolutely none. It's realism for you, gang. You must Excellent. Your Fucking day. marvelous. Be freed from the That's all right. It's okay. There's something to live for. Jesus told me so. Been a while since I've seen good old American movie. Mark Borchardt, Mike Shank. Working on the old film Coven. Funded by Uncle Bill. That's uh, one of the best documentaries I've ever seen about filmmaking. Well, thank you, Mr. Bill. It was a shot in the dark. Let's see if we have any more fire paper here. Uh -huh. That's all right. It's a mere trifle. Unnecessary. We can defeat Garman with this goddamn giant sword. Without any fire paper, bolt paper, extra potions, come on. What is this, amateur hour? I mean, the laughs are coming about as hard as amateur hour, but look at this. We just, just stick them. The old stick and slice. Stick it to him or stick it, you fucking old cunt. God damn it. Alright. We're not gonna declare botch on this one. We're going for it. It's go time. Uh oh, that's gonna botch. Yee! Good one, Gearman. Alright, we might have to call Botch on this one. Yep, yep, you that's fine. Save those dead. blood vials for the next one. And thank you once again for everybody tuning in live tonight, checking out our final run of Bloodborne Part 7. The people voted. Johnny, do you want to give up? Not even fight the last boss and get the good ending? Or do you want to fight him and take on the bad ending? And thank you for electing to suffer through the last boss for the bad ending. <laughs> Gotta agree with you there, Luke. He literally does have no friends. He's, uh... 
living in the delusion of a cosmic being. He's trapped in this dream with only that doll to keep him company. So I think he's been in here living on his own for like a hundred years. Occasionally these hunters will come through. You know, like I'm playing right here, this goofy guy. These hunters will come through the dream. They'll do, you know, do the bidding of the celestial being. And get them by association. And eventually, there's no more need for the hunter. Garman dispatches them, and the dream continues. We can take out Garman. Who knows what's going to happen? We elected not to die. We're not just pawns in the schemes of alien monsters and deranged old men. We'll rise above these delusions. And we'll see what happens if we can beat Garen. I've done it before. It was like four years ago. That just means that I'm a little older, a little wiser. Well, maybe my skills are even a little better. That's not the case. That's certainly not the case. That's the thing. I mean, yeah, it's fun to tune on Fridays for six guns, one and done, retro indie live play things. Well, occasionally, aka frequently, you save, save states or winding. Things like that, you know, just clear a game, kind of showcase it. But it doesn't really show the real struggle. The real kick in the nards that video games usually are. When you're sitting at home alone. Kevin! Playing these things. Yeah, I do it for fun. Ouch. You can do it for fun and privacy, but... You know, this is raw humanity here. One man struggling to entertain an audience while attempting to reclaim some semblance of a reputation for being a video game player, which I really am not. I play the damn things. I'm not great at them. I enjoy them. That's the thing, when you cross the line from enjoyment to frustration, that's usually where I stop. I don't like to be angry and irritated. I usually get paid for that. Alright, Garman. Come on, do the scream. Oh, I got too close to the scream. That's... Stupidity hurts, gang. Oh, give, him a, give him the old quick cut. Oh, he... Oh, son of a bitch. He crit criticaled me. Can't even fucking speak any longer. One more blood vial. He's got a third of his health. <laughs> Yee. All right, might as well use the blood vial. And we've gone over the four-hour mark. You know what that means, game? Absolutely nothing. No consequences. <laughs> Yee. Adios, muchacho. All right, we're gonna do it, gang. We're gonna beat the game, but I gotta take a quick five. I gotta do a quick cooldown, regain my composure. We're gonna come back. We're gonna take it to Garman, or he's going to repeatedly defeat me as my fingers are going numb and my body temperature is through the roof. 
So we'll see what shakes out. Who know? You know, I might even have a cooling whiskey. Kind of a rarity on the weeknights, but that might give me the gamer's edge, the Garman edge. Oh, and we're all out of blood vials. That means we have to grind when we get back. <laughs> no matter. We'll be back in five, gang. If you want to see the end of Bloodborne, stick around. If you don't, there's always Robot in the family.
coming back to you live from the city of mystery and romance, your pal, Johnny Six Gun, finishing off Bloodborne. We're going to defeat Garman, the first hunter, the creator of the dream, the slave to the celestials. We are going to free ourselves from this un- ending cycle of death and mayhem the only way we know how with a sword and to do that we'll need a little little resources so we're going to school we're gonna get wise Kind of the fun about these Soulsborne games, as they call them. Very rich, storied history in every game. Well, that would be a grind, even. But you always gotta look for the story. It's always found in the notes, the item descriptions, vague little pieces of dialogue from a few of the NPCs and of course checking out the wikis it's not too often where you get a cutscene that just explains everything to you in these games and that's okay that's interesting storytelling the player can kind of fill in the blanks and if they can't there are tons of YouTube videos that'll do it for you. Yeah, Garman, the first hunter. He's a doozy. The father of the hunters who came up with all the techniques, devised many of the trick weapons that the hunters use. And as I've observed on many occasions, the toughest battles in this game are often the hunters themselves, the insane hunters you encounter. And Garman, he's the one that's schooled them all. So of course, He's going to be the trickiest one to defeat. How very appropriate a last boss. At least for this ending. There is a another secret ending. That I could also obtain on this run if I'd like. But I've, I've gotten that ending in the past. And that means there's also another boss battle after Garman. That boss battle is not as difficult as Garman, and it's pretty cool. But I've seen it, I've done it, and I want a trophy for getting a different ending. Not really much of a trophy or achievement horror myself. You know, if I can get them, I'll take them. Alright, I wanted to check... No... No, I don't want to check that out. I think we'll be okay. A little bit cooler. Regained some composure. We got a little vitamin W here. The old Wiser's Canadian Whiskey. Mixed with the Canada Dry Diet Ginger Ale. The old Can Can. Canadian Dry with Canadian Whiskey. Or usually that's Canadian Club is the can-can. I don't know. We're going to turn this can-can into a can-do. Yeah, a few more runs like that would be okay. Not like that. Not like this. Oh, not like that. Uh-oh. Oh, 
deserve that one. Violence works for me. Sting him a little, just get his goat. Stuck him for once. It was stucco. Oh, he's charging. Charging chunk. Captain chunk. No, 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 no. Oh, dear. So that was a really close one. And that was a close one. <coughs> hmm, Murph. All right, and we don't have enough blood vials. So back to school with Rodney Dangerfield.
That might be enough do re me to get us back in the fight. Enough for this one, at least. Who knows? Might just have the devil's own luck this time. He's never heard. me here sticking it to me come on get in the angry mode gearman that should do it You must accept your You got me. Good one, guys. And you know that's that's kind of what happens in these live play sessions. Recently I've been watching a lot of Game Center CX. Cacho Arino. Oh, not even a enough to get through the fight. Yeah, just watching Arena play these old school video games. Well, this isn't necessarily old school, but you know those old NES games, old Genesis, Turbo Graphics, SNES, N64, PlayStation. I think he did some Game Boy games. He'll play those damn things for 14, 18 hours straight. Not even beat the game sometimes. And regardless, they cut that footage down to a one hour episode. So you see a lot of his failures, a lot of his success, 
That's not real time, and that, boy, that's, that takes guts. You struggle playing one game for over 12 hours. So, you know, a little four and a half hour session with a few failures. Maybe we can say like, oh yeah, I'll beat Marigos. Wet nurse on the first try, huh? The one we're born, first try. Caged Bowie, third or fourth try? And Garman, uh, 18 tries. That's, that's okay, it's, that's real TV. Who here remembers the old real TV show? Kind of the pre-YouTube or YouTube for old people that didn't know that YouTube existed. Here's a crazy car chase that gets out of control. Yeah, kind of a poor man's cops. Cops is a poor man's life. Uh-oh. This is a botch. No, we're not going to throw it. We're claiming potential botch. Unless we can... You no, that's okay. We're not going to waste the blood vials on that one. And we're going to have a sip of whiskey or two, I tell you what, gang. Hey, do something for yourself. Maybe a Nice cold glass of water sounds nice. Maybe you got a Diet Pepsi in the back of the fridge. That could be okay. Maybe you went on eBay and bought a can of OK soda from the mid-90s. Loved that OK soda. I was able to replicate it myself. I was working at the concession stand at one of our local St. Paul pools. Essentially, OK soda was just a mix of orange and cola. If you ever fiending for OK Soda, you can make, you can do it yourself. Oh, shit! So we're claiming botch on this one. We're gonna not gonna throw it. But yeah, that's you know didn't even have to throw it. No, when I was journeying over in Germany back in like '98 or something. They had a soda, Coca-Cola product, called Mezomix. The old Mezomix, which was OK Soda for all intents and purposes. So that was pretty cool. They had like 1.5 liter bottles you could buy out of a vending machine. Things were massive. Thought the whole works is going to go through the floor. But I enjoyed drinking Mezomix in Germany, as OK Soda is no longer available in America. That's not the kind of America I want to live in. Oh, fuck you, dude. There we go. Oh, oh, oh dear. That's a botch. Oh, not yet, not a botch yet. Yo, the bachi. Hayahachi Mishima. When I defeat this fella, we're not stopping this run until I beat the damn bastard. I could go back. I could challenge... All the optional areas that are still lurking in this game. Whoops, oh, I'm getting lost. But we're we're calling it. We're calling this game defeated. Garman is my defeated foe. He just doesn't know it yet. 
Oh, he's getting the hook. Hook, line, and stinker. Fuck. <laughs> Good one, guys. You must have yep, that one sucked. Death. That was a sucker. Was hoping to be done with this run much longer ago, though. Hopefully, I was going to unwind a little bit tonight, but that's what tomorrow night's for. The Friday night one and done six gun showcase or whatever gobbledygook it is. Play some Escape Goat 2. Can't wait. I was excited to see it was even on PS4. Purchased it immediately when I saw that it was, and apparently it has been the last five years. We'll talk more about Escape Goat tomorrow. If we survive tomorrow. I call him botch yet, but yeah, this is a botch. This one's not going anywhere. Sometimes you just feel a run. That wasn't it. Yep, sometimes poor... Poor Arino, Game Center CX, Shinyarino, Cacho. Just playing the same level over for an hour. Two hours, three hours. To get about five minutes worth of footage. So I find inspiration in that. Might have been poking around at Garma for a little while here. An hour, hour and a half, maybe. Wasn't really paying much attention. Shit. But this would have been cut down to about five to ten minutes worth of footage on Game Center CX. Alright, this one's not a botch yet. We'll go for it. I've got a good feeling. Bad. That was a bad touch. The Nestle's touch. He gives as good as he gets. He gives a little better. Ooh. I get it. I get it. You know, I suspect my sword needs to be repaired now that I think about it. I don't know the last time I've repaired the sword. I haven't got the sword damaged in mess of so that's borderline encouraging. Holy whip. Get a whip of this. Get out of my stink house. I'm gonna stop using that stab attack.
Superman. Where you at, Gearman? Kidding me? A one hitter? Are you fucking kidding me? That was a very respectful duel. He pulls that baloney. I got a baloney he can pull on right here. I'm afraid we're gonna have to grind after that. Well, 19. Yeah. Wonder if we got any cool wet. Let's see here. Gonna do a quick check online. Maybe there's some uh, some of these items that I haven't been using that I maybe should be using. Kicks. We'll throw the blue elixir on. Maybe if I'm not detectable, it'll be good. Don't really know what this stuff does. Yeah, I don't know. A bunch of gobbledygook. I'm not reading any of that baloney. Let's just use some of these weird items. That's not going to work. Yeah, what the hell, shaman, shaman blow it, blue, the bone blade, blue. Don't know what that thing is. We'll take it. See what any of this stuff does. Good enough. See what that new... Maybe that crazy gem that we had. Oh, how's that sword doing? Meh. Meh. stick with the physical attack up a couple percent. Everything counts. Yeah, we'll use some of these weird items, see what happens. I don't know. Now oh, we're short one blood vial. Oh, that would be heartbreaking. Plus we can repair the sword. I think that's a good idea. Plus it's good for the students. We're gonna teach them a lesson.
right, we can get our blood vial, we can tune up the sword, and then we can beat the game. Come on. Can life get any better? When one of your key stressors in life is that you're having trouble beating a fucking video game, that's a pretty good life. Oh yeah, this thing is in super need of repair. Alright, it's not going to be enough to get us through another run without another quick grind, but we're not even going to need it. Come on. We're going to go invisible right away. Forget about it. He's going to see through that shit like nobody's business. <laughs> He can see me better than I can. That, that one didn't go so well. Not not so good, Ale. Maybe we'll try out the old lead elixir next time. Get the lead out of our Chinese toys. I don't know what this lead elixir even is. The description didn't really help too much. So let's quaff it down. I think it slowed me down. Well, that's not good. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I did not. Don't don't drink the lead elixir, gang. Don't quite understand what it did. I'm pretty sure that shaman bone blade is only used to get enemies to attack each other. Garman doesn't seem very self-destructive, so. Probably gonna shoo all those gimmicks, those bells, whistles. Some people call them whistles. I call them whistles. All right, that one not so good. Although that was interesting, a lot of times you roll to the left to these enemies and it really bums them out. Rolling to the right on Garman, that yeah, might be the ticket. According to John Lovitz. One of my favorite John Lovitz bits on SNL, he may have been hosting. Hey, Fire Breath Boy. Do I need any help? Only all I can get. But no, it's a battle of attrition. I'll beat him. Eventually. Not this time. <laughs> e. But thank you for the offer. That's, uh, you know, kind of fun in the Soulsborne games, getting help from the community, always appreciated. 
I always play him solo. Solo e mono. Glutton for punishment. Too stupid to recognize that help is required. But at this stage in the game, just need to bring back the memories of beating Garman about five years ago. Maybe I can do it again. I mean, I'm going to. If I don't, I guess I'm not going to work. Hello, boss. Can't make it in the... That's right, yep. Yep, Bloodborne. Fighting Garman, yep. 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 Yeah, we'll see you Monday. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> that was a fucked run. So we're not going to dodge to the right. We're going to dodge to the left. Always roll to the left. Sad thing is, I would have gladly taken help from Fire Breath Boy, but since I don't have PSN, I can't have people enter my game anyways. And that's fine. I bet these Soulsborne games would be a lot more fun with friends and assistants. But as it stands, they're just not very fun. More grueling. It's not something you fire up to relax. It's something you fire up to experience. I'm gonna call this a botch. I should give it up, but you must yep. accept your death. That's a botch. Alright, well the first whiskey went down a lot easier than Garman did. to pour another one. Maybe if we get a little loosey-goosey, I can just booze my way through this. Although I've heard boozers are losers. I've never heard that. Although it may be true. Come on. Come on, you pants. You son of a bitch. Alright, fuck this. I'm gonna get mean now. Could be interesting. Maybe I should stow the great sword and try my fencing skills. Fence some stolen goods. idea. Fuck me. You must accept yeah, your fuck death. that. Be free to <coughs> Crunch. Damn the pandemic. beat this guy in about an hour and a half here. It's Miller time.
lost oh, except not. you. Fencing was doing okay for a little while. I think I've probably got a farm again now. Ugh. Farmageddon. Farmageddon nowhere fast. Alright, we still have enough for another go. So let's do it. <laughs> do I need help in this game? Fuck you. Anybody who thinks I need help in any game. Defeats the purpose. Alright, this isn't going well. We might have to toss this one. You must accept your death. That's okay. Be freed from the night. wasted on this boss. I probably could have just grinded for about 30 minutes, leveled up, few got more defense, more health. Might have been more worthwhile, but what are you gonna do?
right, after 11 o'clock here, live from the city of mystery and romance, St. Paul, Minnesota, your pal Johnny Six-Gun. Oh, fuck, I'm out of goddamn potions. Banging his head against the wall in Bloodborne. I was hoping this run was going to be over an hour ago. And that's not how a life works, gang, sometimes. The bar eats you, and, well, sometimes you gotta grind. Sometimes you've got an axe to grind. Sometimes you gotta get to school. I've been known to have been like school in summertime. No class. Or maybe like school in pandemic time. Class from home. I'm still really uh, quite upset by how fucking hot it is in this apartment. There's really no getting over it. I like to think I'd have the gaming edge if I was... I'd have to say about 10 degrees cooler. Maybe not in body heat, but if the room were 10 to 20 degrees cooler, that sure would be swell. Wouldn't be sweltering, just swell. Okay, how much dough do I... Oh, that was... Kinda hoping I'd have enough cash to buy a fire or bolt paper, but not the case. Yep, my fingers are shot. Sweating like a whore in church. Not thrilled that I have to work tomorrow. But hey, I've got a job to go to. Might be hot indoors, but I've got an indoors to sleep in. What was the other one? Hot? Yeah, I still don't give two fucks about being hot. That, that pisses me off. I'm pissed off at being hot. I don't live in the Midwest for hot heat. I want the cool winter times. Bring on the snow. Folks don't like the snow. I don't care for the treacherous road conditions. Kind of dangerous. By the same token, keeps no good nicks off of the street. And as a cranky old man, I'm on board with that. Keep those teenagers indoors where they belong. Thank you kindly. So we're going to try our fencing maneuver again. That seemed to be working okay. A little better than the old greatsword. We're going to maybe mix it up a little with the old bolt paper. Can we afford two? No. We'll go for the half and half. That's a little, a little prostitution term for you folks, if you're not uh, too keen on the whores, old Johnny can fill you in. Just like you can fill those whores in, am I right? I've never used the services of a prostitute, that's too embarrassing. Take matters into my own hands, that's what I say. Alright, we got the whiskey edge, we got the fire paper, we got the bolt paper, we've got 20 blood vials. We got one pissed off hunter over here. Let's light him up. And we're already dead. Accept 
kind of like that. Rapier with the elemental augment. That, that could be a step in the right direction. got one bolt paper on us, but it's better than having a bolt of fabric. When's the last time anyone's been to the old fabric store? Probably a while for me. Not, not a sower. Let's reap what I sow. Yeah. Old papers expensive. Oh, dear, I can die. Oh no, fucking A. That was really doing a number on him. So we just gotta go buy two bolt papers. Five blood vials, and we're taking them down. We're doing it, gang. We got it. It's a lock. Easy Street. Yeah, two quick trips to school. Take out those students. Put the stew into students. We can beat this fucking game and I'll never play it again for the rest of my goddamn life, which I hope is short after this fucking game. God damn it. But hey, we're ha we're having fun on a Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. These sluggish students have been pounding the booze into the egg. Old Dr. McGillicuddy's been teaching them lessons. Okay, that's enough for one bolt paper. I gotta be careful now that I'm drinking. I'm on drink number two, and that's not going to help. I have found that alcohol consumption does not enhance your video game playing skills. Quite the opposite. Oh yeah, I also wanted to check. Maybe I should be wearing some different equipment. Maybe something guards a little bit more against the slicing. Since he is cutting me to ribbons.
Be enough to cover two bolt papers, fix the sword. I don't know if it'll be enough to get the blood vials, though. Might be asking Hubbit much. though. 19's not bad. Mm. It's go time. I think we can do it. You can do it. It's all up to you. Okay. Son of a bitch, fuck me. That's alright, that's okay. There's nothing to live for. There's no Jesus. There are only cheeses. Where'd the cheese go? Maybe it'll be played live tomorrow night with Ween's free online concert. We'll see. Time will tell. I'm gonna have to grind three or four times now, but I'm, I'm liking this new strategy. I think it's the way to go. I swear to God, if I'm up till one in the morning, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be pretty pissed off. Pissed off that I ever started doing this shit. Why the fuck am I even playing video games online? Something to do. You gotta keep busy. Plus, I've got a secret ul ulterior motive. Gotta believe that I can reprogram the YouTube algorithm just by speaking and having it analyze the videos. Then after the algorithm is reprogrammed, 
I will have essentially entered the matrix. I don't see how that's really good, but... Well, then again, back to Joe Pantoliano, Cypher from the Matrix. I know I'm not really eating a piece of steak. Juicy and delicious. I don't care. Just plug me back in and don't let me remember about any of this shit. That's, you know, that's not a bad thing. Plug into the fantasy, that's essentially what we're doing. This is kind of a vanilla sky moment, though. I'm plugged into the fantasy, but it's a nightmare. I like to think it's kind of like the old, uh, not that old, 90s cartoon, Warner Brothers cartoon, the Freakazoid, good old Freakazoid cartoon, where with a fancy new processing chip, Dexter Duncan, nerd computer ace, had to just plug in a random set of keystrokes into the internet. And then he was able to unleash the awesome powers of Freakazoid. Let's not lose those blood echoes. Loved the Freakazoid cartoon. Only two seasons, I believe. Oh, I didn't want to buy that many. Whoops, a daisy. Well, now we grind two more times. Yeah, I mean, he had some great guest voices. The Lobe. Voiced by David Warner, who folks may recall as Sark from Tron. Also voiced Rachel Ghoul from Batman the Animated Series. He was, uh, oh, he was the Cardassian in the next gen episode, Chain of Command, the There Are Four Lights episode. Love that, David Warner. Also, Ricardo Montalban. Also of Star Trek fame and the Naked Gun fame. Showing up in that freakazoid. And the brilliant Ed Asner from the Mary Tyler Moore Show. A lot of folks would recognize his voice from Up. Or from the... 90s Superman cartoon where he was brilliantly cast as Granny Goodness. Ed Asner as Granny Goodness. One of the best voice castings I've ever heard. Alright, we got one bolt paper. Uh, uh, uh. That's kind of nice. Once I get into the grind, then I can speak freely again. That's that's why I like to do these live streams. Just let the mind wander. Once I get caught up in a tricky boss encounter or some difficult platforming, be a chameleon. That's, that, that's when it gets a little less fun for me, and I like to think when I'm not having fun, the audience isn't having fun. And then I think to myself, what audience? So thank you, the home viewers. We still got J-Dub with us live. Great friend of the channel. The highest contributor to our Patreon. Donating $10,000 a month to keep this stream going. Thank you, J-Dub. YouTube can barely keep up with your contributions. And all you other viewers at home, checking this out when it's archived, thanks for tuning in. 
You've got a high level of expectation for entertainment, and this stream meets and exceeds all of your expectations consistently. I can say this with no reservations. One more grind. We're going for three bolt papers full blood vials. We are going to roll into Garman like an unmasked senior citizen. down by the students, you know, he's got to watch out for those 20 somethings. Not quite mature as adults. They got a chip on their shoulder. And they've also been eating. Oh, and we're maxed out on bullets. Good old... Oh boy, bullet, what is that? Is that a scotch? I don't know my scotches at all. I, I, I feel that scotch tastes like Velcro smells. Not too keen on the scotch. I like my Canadian whiskeys, my blended Canadian whiskeys, Wisers. Canadian whiskey has contributed hundreds of thousands to this stream. Which is why we're slugging it down with reckless abandon tonight. In the hopes that we can defeat Garman. We're buying a bolt paper. We are buying those blood vials. We are going to beat the tar out of the first hunter. We're going to check our gear. Let's see if we need to tune anything up. No matter how ridiculous we look. We're going for pure physical defense there. Gonna boost that up. What else we got? What can we do? We look uh, a bit ridiculous now. And I don't give two tugs of a dead dog's dick how we look. Because we're taking them down. Gearman is going downtown. We've got our bolt paper. We've got our blood vials. We've got... The heart of a warrior and the soul of a child. We are going to beat this fucking game right now. It's go time. Alright, he's already got me. We're done for him. <laughs> Alright, this might be a botch run, but that's okay. That's okay. It's gonna take a moment to... Get accustomed to the new look. I don't like the new look. And that's that's what happens, you know? Maybe your favorite apps and websites get a new look. Your Facebook, your YouTubes. <laughs> Actually, just looking at this uh, new outfit I'm wearing reminds me I still have to see Black Klansman. I haven't seen that one yet. I really want to see that. We're going to leave it at that. Spike Lee, great director, makes some great movies. We're going to leave it at that. Come on, give me the hook. Give me the hook. 
take it. hit on him. God damn it. Science is too tight. There we go. Take him down. Don't get greedy. The way the cookie crumbles. And that was alright. That was okay. Not great. I've seen better. I've done better. God damn did I want this run to be done two and a half hours ago. Holy Gewalt. Schnitzel. Almost ready to kill the doll, but we're not going to do that. Not the doll. She deserves better than that. We got one bolt paper. Hmm. <laughs> Let's not get stupid here. Rolling hard. Uh, like Weird Ale says, dare to be stupid. Or eat it, if you will. Come on, Garman. Oh, you got me there. That's a good one. Come on, give me the hook. Give me the hook. Oh, not so good. Shoot him in time. Nuts.
didn't realize he was charging that attack. God damn it, that was the one, too. Alright, taking a five. Having a piss, having a... Quick cool down. Time for a cool down. Then we're going to do a grind. Then we're going to beat Garmin. It's going to be a six fucking hour long stream, but we're going to do it. Because this is how we do it. I'm going to take this ridiculous mask off. We're looking like... Oh boy, what was it? Plague Knight, maybe? Let's have a... Let's have a sit. And relax. As the world burns.
coming back to you live from the city of mystery and romance, St. Paul, Minnesota. Your pal Johnny Six Gun. Plugging away. Gonna beat Bloodborne by hook or by crook. And we're gonna do a little, a little grinding. Get a little do re me. So we can afford a few bolt papers. You know, you gotta you gotta buy the paper every now and again. You wanna check out the funnies, the want ads, as we all know. Checking the paper is the best way to find a job. I, I don't know if they even advertise in the paper for jobs anymore. Maybe for newspaper delivery boy, machine operator, phone book delivery boy. I don't know. I don't know who's advertising in that paper still. Maybe the paper mill. That's right, we want to... Don't wear the fancy hat, we want to wear the spooky helmet. Lord Helmet. I'm the bearded lady, what are you, one of the freaks? That's one bolt paper, uh, uh, uh. Uh uh uh. Uh uh uh. It's very happy during my recent rewatch of Hail Caesar. Forgot that Wayne Knight was in there. Just a bit roll. Kind of a pivotal part. But just good to see old Wayne Knight popping through stuff. Oh, was he in that cabin boy? I haven't seen that cabin boy in a long time. The old guy under the stairs, Chris Elliott. These pipes are clean. Oddly enough, I know we mentioned it earlier tonight, the Amazing Laser. The old SNL bit. That one was Chris Elliott. Chris Elliott firing amazing laser. And this run should be sufficient it looks like we've got that miracle run we're gonna use those three bolt papers and we're gonna take down Garmin Garmin rather Feel the cell phone industry took down Garmin Although, I think they have their own little line of Fitbit-style pedometers. So we don't have to worry about the old Garmin company. They're doing okay. Yeah, I'm, i got it running on the old Lapster myself here, J-Dub, and... Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little pokey. We're behind the times. The New York Times. Not my times, man. Got our bolt paper. We'll make sure our sword is doing fine. Oh, 
I'll invest the rest in blood vials. We'll be extra certain to equip the bolt papers. And we're diving in. Greedy, trying to stagger him. You got me, that's a good one. Well, I suppose we could give it a shot without the bold paper. Or I need a whiskey after that, no. I'll try one without the bold paper. 
Although I like it. I think it really does a number. Could be psychosomatic. Really don't have the eyes to it. Calculate the numbers. No, fuck me. I just want to go to bed. go to bed the last few hours. That's all I wanted. anger mode. Come on. Piss off. Now he's pissed off. I mean, I wanted to do banding where I just fucking died. That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to pick the easy ending. And you guys, this is three more hours of just hell. I mean, it's moderately entertaining, I suppose. But come on. I mean, come on, really? We're gonna do it, and I can't stop now. Could have stopped an hour or two ago. Not at this point, though. Although I'd wager. If I were to just quit, right, pick it up at a later date and just knock it out of the park right quick. But that's, we're not doing that. We're not adding a whole nother part to the series. We're gonna do it. We've had some close encounters of the turd kind. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna do it. No problem. Should be grinding for levels. I should just Give up on the last boss, grind for two fucking hours, die for three more hours, beat him at seven in the morning. Not your fault, J-Dub. You didn't know. 
you don't know what it takes to beat a game like this, it's a living nightmare. <laughs> Which is why I'll only play one of these Soulsborne games once every other year. Because it takes a lot out of you. Just crushes your soul. But, I don't know, people seem to enjoy them. They are really cool. Once again, I'm just losing my cool because it's hot as a son of a bitch in here. That's all right, it'll all lead up to a thrilling climax. It'll be a hard fought battle. Made all the sweeter by the Sawa. The old Sour Power. The Sour Power is no match for my Glower Power. And the next game we do, I am planning on doing one more long form Let's Play series. And we're always going to do the Fridays. Fridays are fun. I like the Friday games a lot more than this one. There's one more long, long form game we're going to play once this one's wrapped. Might uh, be another week. It might take a little bit of time off before I get to it. But I got one in mind and there'll be a lot more fun than this. Get two of those guys. Get a few of those. And that might even be enough to repair the sword. Oop, not quite. That thing is fucked up. At the end of the day, it's only midnight. That's not too bad. Funny bit is, I've been working short days this week. Gotta burn the PTO, gotta help out the company in hard financial times, so gotta burn up all of our PTO. I've been working shorter hours this week. And I've been playing this game longer than I was working today. So I don't know what that says, really. I know I got paid for one of them. The other one's supposedly entertainment. Ooh, I'd love to do that, Skies. Now, there's a lot of really cool stuff I would prefer to play over a lot of the stuff that I do. But I'd have to get a proper ca capture card, a separate PC, all just for streaming games. Or I can just make do with what's available on the PS4 and use a built-in interface. Quite frankly, it's a pretty neat little interface, so why not? Oh, five short. But no, it is going to be a Sega game. I won't say which one. It is going to be a Sega game. Might be about a 40-hour one, so that'll be... I think it'll be you know, 40 hours if I really dumped a lot of time into it. Maybe closer to 30. So, I mean... Could be even a little bit longer than this uh, Bloodborne run has gone. Yeah, that's a saving grace. First time I played this, I put about a hundred hours into it. Jesus, you fucking bastards. These fucking cunts are gonna kill me, aren't they? Well, that's okay. I can restart here and get a few bonus souls. Or blood echoes, if you prefer. No, next game is gonna be a Sega game. 
want to try to get at least one more of these long form ones in. See if people cotton to them. And if they do, great. If they don't, well, it'll be out there forever. Until the Google servers go down. In 2034. Hey, we got our blood echoes back. Yay. Maybe a fun one. A death pool to figure out when. Or a dead pool, rather. But when certain servers go down, when it's Yuhu. Yahoo is finally going down. Yuhu is going down as soon as I buy it. That stuff's tasty. Non-dairy chocolate milk, sign me up. Ah, oh, that's Sanchiro-san. Yeah, we're gonna... We still got a few more 60th Sega anniversary games in the, in the deck for this year. Gonna do one... Not tomorrow, but following Friday. And then maybe the following week we'll start the next long form Let's Play vid series. got a good feeling. Yeah, and for you folks out there, you Sega de Sanchiro fans, Sega did release a little commercial featuring Sanchiro-san's son, which may have had a little cameo in there, if you keep your eyes open. So check out the YouTube for that one. Went for the stab. Not, not a good call. Not a good call. Uh oh, he got me. Hook, line, and stinker. Yeah, that's okay. That's a botch. Gotta warm up the skills again after that grind. Do a stretch in here. Finish off the second whiskey. We're not going on to a third. We've learned temperance in our old age. Join the Temperance League. Oh, I didn't even equip the lightning paper. No pause in this game. There we go. Maybe that was the motivation I need to take him down this time. Wish ha No, 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 dear. Oh, God, no. There's the fungus. We'll give it a whirl. slow on the trigger. Yeah, we're not going to use a full paper on this one. Yeah, that's Skies of Arcadia. Haven't played it since the Dreamcast game days. What a good game. I'd love to play it again. And I can whenever I'd like. Yeah, maybe I should get the capture card. We'll see. Alright, we're gonna give Garman a honest whirl this time. Before we do that, I'm gonna take the whiz. Going to relieve a little pressure. Burn, 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 burn.
And we're back. Pressure relieved off the bladder. Ate a couple of red vines. Still got them in my teeth. Well, I'm an old gold tooth, and I'll tell you the truth. already? Well, at least I didn't use any bolt paper and yells up. Just for kicks, just to let them know, I take orders from nobody. I'm gonna do a little, little backwards jog, and that's fun. And the attack from him. Fuck me. Just, just take me down. You must accept your death. It's okay. We're getting there. Take me down. You must accept your death. Be freed from the night. We got the hair tied back, got a stick of juicy fruit. This game is gonna kill me. In the gate. There he is. Gonna. Fuck it.
no, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, oh, Garman's down. And we are being embraced by the moon presence. Not to be confused with Donald Pleasance. And the dream lives on. Forever. So, the hunt begins again. Hey, and we got a trophy. Oh my god. So there you go, folks. That's, uh... The sad truth of the Soulsborne games is the endings are always shite. Always two seconds long. I mean, it's a cool ending. We refuse Garman's thought to relieve us from the unending nightmare. However, we ourselves are enveloped in the nightmare, which is the endless hunter's dream. We take his place as a slave of the moon presence, and now we command hunters to enter the night endlessly to do our bidding and our bidding is truly that of the moon presence so yeah that's oh that's bloodborne Ugh. oh well i was losing hope i do Want to throw out thanks to J-Dub for sticking by for the long haul and encouraging us all the way. And to J-Dub and Luke for encouraging me to actually do that ending. So next time I play Blood Bloodborne, I can just take the easy way out. Next time I play Bloodborne, probably be another five years. That must be why I didn't play it for five years. Oh wait, no, I don't remember why, because the DLC is also brutally difficult. But yeah, that's that's the Soulsborne series. It's 
not so much fun and relaxing as it is a terrific experience. I think a lot of folks should just, you know, tune into that. It's, I don't know, maybe try it. My, my favorite, it's either Bloodborne here, as you've seen, or the original Dark Souls. And that, I believe you can get Dark Souls remastered pretty cheap around the clock. It might even be on sale as we speak if you're tuning in uh, pretty recent to the date of the live stream. But yeah, the original Dark Souls is a little harder than this even. Which, ugh, ugh, yeah, exactly, but, but it's, it's rewarding. And I really earned my sleep tonight. That can't be said of every night. You know, I didn't go out and bench press. I didn't write a book. But, you know, I'd be bloodborne and any asshole can lift up some weights. Anyone can brush ink to paper. But who the hell can say they've beaten Bloodborne on multiple occasions? I know, tens of hundreds of thousands of people can say that, but when you're in a world of eight billion people, hey, that's a small percentage. So yeah, don't don't let my despair bring you down. If this this looked cool, you can do it. There are a lot of strategies online. I've usually eschew those. I'll check wikis here and there just to make sure I don't miss out on cool items or maybe sometimes some side quests which are very easily missable in these games. But yeah, don't let the difficulty spook you. And that's uh, Pot Calling the Kettle Black. I tried playing Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, their new Ninja Soulsborn game came out a year ago. Probably got about three hours in. I'm like, nope. Nope. Soul was recently crushed by Dark Souls 3. We're not doing Sekiro. So that's well, that's why I did the, the long run of Bloodborne. I figured I've beaten it in the past. It's the easiest of the bunch. Ugh. And it, it's just got the coolest aesthetic. So yeah, that's that's why I did the Bloodborne. And there's a lot of stuff that I passed up. I didn't show any of the DLC. A few extra areas I didn't show. There's some other bosses that... Well, there's at least one more in here that I had didn't show that really gave me a run for my money, but... That's one of the horrible monster bosses, which is never as difficult as a hunter boss. Yeah, we're just going to keep yammering as these credits roll. I mean, thankfully, not as long as a Marvel Pictures movie. But sadly, I don't think there's going to be anything fun at the end. Maybe a punch in the balls. Be a nice, nice treat after beating the Bloodborne. Just a good wallop in the sack. And look at all these people. But what do all the people know? Yeah, it just sort of keeps going. So yeah, I'll, you know, forgot to throw my little ad on the TCG, TC Game Club thing on the Facebook tonight. We'll do that immediately after this. Yeah, be sure to tune in tomorrow night for Escape Goat 2. I'd show Escape Goat 1, but that's on my 360. I can't stream anything from that yet. So we're doing the second one. Don't worry about being lost. The only one who's going to be lost is a goat in a treacherous dungeon. And his little mouse pal. So we're gonna we're gonna learn a little bit about goats tomorrow and mice and dungeons. Well, maybe we've had enough of dungeons. And this may be the last time we see these patients trying load screens. Are we back on the title screen? Good. Oh, 
signed and sealed. Oh my god, it's starting over. Now, let's begin the transfusion. No. Oh, oh god, no. Whatever happens, the horror. you may think it all a mere bad dream. <laughs> And that's, you know, the cycle repeats itself now. Old Johnny Sixgun is running the hunter's dream. And onto other hunters will be forced to enter the nightmare. Ad nauseum. Until the Celestials are done getting their kicks with these Earthlings. I mean, come on, guys. Ascend already. We don't, don't need you Celestials pissing us off. Us Earthlings deal with Earth things. I can't even I can't even recall if this is how the game started. I think it is. Yeah. Press the start button and yeah, there we go. Waking up at the beginning of the damn game. New game plus. Let's put on our old outfit. Save point and be done with this. And the first monster is no match for us. And the real bummer is these new game pluses, you get to start with all your gear. At least a vast majority of it. All your stats are intact. But all the monsters are a little bit tougher. So it doesn't get any easier. It's not any more fun. It's just another slog. Here we go. We're coming up on that first save point. Oh my goodness. I can't wait. Yeah, I mean, had we gone back to this early area with all these stats and weapons, we would have been cutting through these guys like butter. They would not be taking multiple hits from this incredibly powerful sword. These level 90 stats. Oopsie daisy. This is just just our victory lap. And who knows? Let's well, I don't know, maybe the guy in the chair gotta give it up for the man in the chair maybe he's maybe he's got my appearance that would be kind of cool I gotta assume it's gonna be Garman again Brandon again yeah, at least the hunter's dream isn't on fire oh the poor doll isn't even awake yet I'll take a threaded cane for free. And a blunderbuss. A wunderbar. Oh, that's just our old pale Garman. 
We're done with this. So there we go, folks. Thank you so much for all the encouragement. Thanks for sticking around, and I hope you enjoyed our long-form Let's Play video of Bloodborne from From Software, exclusive to the PlayStation 4. We're going to be back tomorrow evening with the Scapegoat 2, and maybe not next week, but the following week, we'll start our next long-form Let's Play video during the weekdays. But until then, live from the city of mystery and romance, your pal Johnny Six Gun is signing off. You folks have a good rest of the week. Hope to see you online and hope you stay well. Ta da!